What is it on? Is it on? Hello, everybody. Hello. Welcome to the annual Martha's mugshot fail. Do I start? What's going on? I mean, if you want to. I mean, just <laughs> let me know. You're the guy with the timer. You're the guy with the I button. Mean... The live split button. Yeah, I mean, I guess if you want to, you can. <laughs> you fucking... Okay, three, two, one, start. Let's go. Play some Ooh. Hundo. I poked my head out of the gun Hundo. for one freaking second. And Hundo with a very go get some different route. For uh, the mid-game, at least. Start is pretty much the same. Nothing new. But, doesn't mean we're not gonna... Commentate it, does it? <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll we? try. <laughs> we we go easy on me. I haven't spoken proper English in like a year. <laughs> sure, man. Since <laughs> since the last GTU. <laughs> yeah. Who we got on the mic? A hey. returning legend, yeah. English Ben, yeah. and uh, Rock Twenty Four as well. And me. Hello. Hi. I'm Marushko, I guess. Yeah. Boo! Boo hoo! <laughs> Anyways, we start off getting in the hotel, doing some stunts. Nothing you haven't seen. Nothing new, at least. Uh, yeah, I opted out for the uh, safe way of getting that USJ because I am a little girl. Nothing wrong with that. <laughs> Was it two star intentional? <laughs> yeah, absolutely, man. <laughs> Everything like... is intentional on my stream. Why did that cop go left? I have no idea. Now I'm getting shot at. Great start. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna do a little pit stop here for a replay of a chainsaw rampage. Replays. Uh, basically, I can save a replay of me standing over something. And when I can, and when I want, I can pick it up through the replay, wherever I am. So you'll see that in action later. Now I'm gonna exchange mics and do these back-to-back uh, -back stunt jumps right here. Let's see if I can uh, manage to not fall off my bike. So it doesn't look very good, but anyways, landing on your back tire gives you a little speed boost. And... Uh -huh. <laughs> and I made it. Would you believe it? Uh, anyways. USJ tutorial coming out soon, guys. Stay tuned. <laughs> <laughs> just, just as soon as Rock streams. <laughs> yeah. God, I wish. <laughs> Pick up a package here. This is Lance's house. Lance, the character you're gonna meet in the next mission. Who? Lance, man. Oh, we already... Oh, no. Okay, okay, it's okay. Yeah, it's uh, VCS, Vice City Stories. Maybe. Chronologically, you should already know that this is this house. <laughs> we, we have met him in the prologue. In the oh yeah, we did. But we didn't know his name. We didn't really meet him, he just <laughs> flew away. Anyways, drop off Mercedes at the strip club. i to come back to it in a couple hours. Doesn't matter. And I replay, or I <coughs> play, play the replay. And I pick up the Rampage that I saved the replay over and now I start mauling people with this chainsaw how did he not die bro what? Mm. anyways despawn that uh ambulance cause it's kinda gonna get in my way and you can see him walking or like sprinting funnily here it's, that's a so called slide you can set it up by like interrupting two animations if you if you blend like two animations together, you get into this so-called sliding state. It's faster than normal sprinting and yeah, normal walking, which you can't... It's faster than normal walking, but a little slower than sprinting, which you can't do anyway with heavy weapons such as the chainsaw. Yeah, exactly. we'll get to that later. Yep, we will. <laughs> Anyways, I finished the rampage. I opted out, or I opted for uh, just jumping at the end, because... Setting up the slide still takes time, and jumping is not that much slower, so if 
you just have to jump two or three times, it doesn't matter that much. Anyway, start the next mission back at Libra, meet up with a local, I don't know, English, English, English band. <laughs> the, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, give him a little beating and then do a <laughs> stunt jump while we go to Leo, <laughs> Messi, and <laughs> we run him over because he is not the real Leo. And he take his phone. And now there's Lance. This way. This way, he says. And by tapping sprint, I can run or sprint much longer. I don't think it matters in this section here, but uh, normally you tap sprint and you run for much, much longer. And you are able to outrun a lot of NPCs that way. But anyway, now on, um, on the way to the ammunition, I am going to save a replay over this Molotov Rampage. You can't see the Rampages when I'm saving the replays because I am on a mission and when I'm on a mission the all of the side objectives and stuff like that you can't see them and it's actually convenient to save replays during missions because you don't pick them up you pick them up later and this rampage is actually gonna work as well as a, a setup for a dupe which you'll see <laughs> later on Anyways, here now I'm gonna trigger a cutscene that I skipped earlier by getting to the hotel in time and I can move in the in this cutscene and I will move towards the save icon. I'm gonna save my game because this is a little bit of luck based uh trick. That's my boy. Man. There we go. So I pick up the save icon and I start and I oop. And I start I the <laughs> rampage. <laughs> <laughs> Let me try and explain it. Okay, yeah. he he went or he picked up that save marker, and at the same time he played the replay of the rampage. So he tried to pick those two things up at the same time, and that allows him to be like on the rampage right now. But as you can see on the minimap, there's still the L for the next uh, lawyer mission, Rosenberg. So he's like technically on the rampage, but he has the like what he just mentioned the on mission flag. It's like a state. There's two states in this game. You can be like in the free mode state, where you can start any mission or like you're free to do anything, start side missions, anything. And as soon as you start anything like a rampage or a mission, you get put into a like a busy state on mission one, where you can't do another rampage you can do two missions at once and so on but what he did there at the hotel picking up the safe mark and the rampage at the same time allows him to start this mission here jury fury once and as soon as he like this little cutscene finishes he will be able to start it a second time and in this mission you need to rack up two juros cars and because we started twice two sets of cars spawn they damage each other or they flip, whichever version you like, there's still the debate going on right now. <laughs> they damage themselves and he passes the mission instantly. Oh, yeah. The technical explanation for what I just explained is much uh, more te technical, much more difficult, but we'll just roll with it. Any code monkeys, feel free to come in and explain it correctly. Actually, do not feel free. No code monkeys <laughs> on this stream. <laughs> How gatekeeping knowledge, man. <laughs> I remember. How am I gatekeeping or... if I don't understand it as well? <laughs> I remember when, was it ESA or GDQ were <laughs> Galax? <laughs> yeah, the whole chat went just... Question, 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 question mark. mark. What? Poor Gale, man. <laughs> yeah. That's not fair. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. So I picked up a... My package, couple packages, and I made a replay over uh, <clears throat> the safe, or the safe house, yeah. I'm gonna buy warp to it later, you'll see, after this mission. So before I do that, before I do the mission, I'm gonna do a quick robbery here. So these are 
<laughs> this is maybe something you don't know if you've played casually. Robberies, I don't know. Not very obvious that you can do them. It doesn't get explained, I don't think. Yeah, they're not explained anywhere. They're just like sort of a hidden thing. Hidden collectible. Yeah. yeah on, on console, you can like aim at the clerk, like auto aim. Yeah. But on PC, it's like not as obvious. You just need to point at him, you know. And then after a few seconds, he gives up the money. And since I'm playing with radio, I'm pretty sure it has any some kind of effect on this. I have mm. to wait a little longer for this buy work, otherwise my game is gonna crash. I don't know why it works like Wait, that. radio affects that? No I way. swear yeah. to God, it does. Yeah, it does. It, it does? does? Yeah. What? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I've always felt like it. I've never really yeah. confirmed it, but... It's something like I've, the mission I've, I've done that without radio and crash before. Oh yeah, I no, it, it does happen, but you need to wait longer with radio. Yeah. Oh, okay. So it happens on both. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, makes sense. So as you saw there, he was able to buy the property, which we also need for 100%, buy all the properties through the replay. And that also has a nice side effect. It warps him to the location, to the property. So he can like warp throughout the whole map, which we'll, you'll see later as well. Really useful. And also, he doesn't spend any money doing the, it that way. But you still have to have the money to buy it. You, yeah, you need to still have enough money for as much as it costs, but you don't spend actually any, because it's like uh, the replay Tommy. It's like a fake Tommy <laughs> pays the money. Not you, the actual Tommy. Kind of like real life. <laughs> yes, it's just like real life. <laughs> it's in, just in like Bulgaria, me. maybe. <laughs> yeah, that's what I mean. He's just like me. For the money, Sonny. All right, so Rampage is like a quick little explanation. Basically, uh, Rampage spawns spawn instead of regular pedestrians, and when there are there's a certain number of pedestrians on the screen. I don't know where I'm going with that explanation. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let, let me try. Let me try. Okay. So in a Rampage, you need to kill a certain amount of people, like 20 or 30 people. And because this is a pretty old game, 2002, it was like made on two, PlayStation 2, there's only like a limited amount of memory the game has, and it can only load so many people at once, which is like, I don't know, like let's say 12 people at most. So you pick up the Rampage, and then there's like a few pedestrians still there, so like no Rampage spawns can spawn, but after a few seconds, like the normal pedestrians disappear, and the Rampage people spawn, and then you kill them. But after you kill them and they lay on the ground, they're like still in memory. So you need to kind of wait or despawn them for new people to come in. And that's why he killed the people the furthest away, because then he can just flip the mouse, flip the mouse, and that actually despawns them and allows new people to spawn in much quicker. Right, that's fine. Exactly. of his house so I'll take the package and then kill him and now I have two stars so what I'm supposed to do is go to the pay and spray to get rid of those two stars but I have the closer play and I can get rid of them at any point I want and finish the mission and I'm gonna do it now and uh, that skips the slow motion because of the uh, mission passed mission completed text all this so, landing didn't it? Yeah. Do you want some good news? Yeah. Your uh, your goof wasn't even shown on video because the stream went <laughs> down for a second. Oh, poggers. <laughs> Nothing went wrong. At yeah. least that's what I'm, what I'm going to tell you anyway. Yeah, <laughs> yeah thanks for uh, keeping my mental. Anyways, a couple no of USJs down this alleyway. You may recognize this uh, sequence of jumps because it's from the PCJ Playground mission. But I can't take them during that mission because the slow motion is disabled and I can't... USJs are disabled. Yeah, USJs are disabled. That's it. And you can't uh, complete them. Plus, I insta-pass it because it's impossible. What? No, I just... My man! <laughs> Who, would <do> that? <laughs> Who would do that? I don't know. One in three people insta-passes... <laughs> One in three people in this room. <laughs> 
and I'll do it again. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, come crazy, this is for the boomers. If you remember, you used to launder money with this. But thank God, no more. I say thank God as if I've done it. <laughs> but <laughs> that started in 2017. Oh, thank God. <laughs> no more cherry poppers, am I right, guys? I mean, three years late. Well, I've done runs of it, so I, I know what it's like. <laughs> yeah, I've done some percent. Okay, so I answered the call. You see me, you're gonna see me answer a lot of calls, and pretty much every call is specifically made for a specific, like, area in the run. Yes. Yes. Calls have different priorities, but you need certain calls to unlock certain missions. But if, like, the call that you need to unlock a mission is, is a lower priority than another one, you will get, like, the higher priority call first, but, you no, know, it's, like, all about routing the phone calls efficiently. Yeah, there are points in this run where you need to unlock certain missions, usually the assassination ones, yeah. but the Mr. Black phone calls are the lowest priority out of any of the calls. <clears throat> So if you don't take the call while you have the chance, you then have like five minutes worth of calls in your queue, and you're just stood there at like the assassination payphone like an idiot. Mm -hmm. I've done that quite a few <laughs> times. Because you make one mistake earlier in the run, you lose like five minutes later on. It's very cool. Yeah. Unforgiving category, what can you say? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so this guy takes a random, random pattern every time you play this mission. And this Fuck this mission. He took the worst one. And <laughs> I kind of stopped like an idiot. <laughs> oh my good. <laughs> oh my good god. And that's why that's the hardest mission in the game. It's, it's not even close. Mission. Yeah, indeed. Legit. It's fucking bullshit. <laughs> so, kill him. And I go back to Cortez. Nice. This mission is uh, pretty much. Pretty straightforward, you don't pick any collectibles up. You jump. Probably worth <laughs> mentioning what you need to do for 100%, right? Oh yeah. For all the, uh, the so, not knowers. Uh, do you remember okay. the list? You... The main missions, yeah. the side missions, the vehicle missions, for example, paramedic, vigilante, firefighter. Uh, all the collectibles, so 100 packages, all stunts, <clears throat> all robberies. Shoot it! Um, all properties, you need to buy all properties. Rampages. Rampages, yeah. Stadium events. Special like a, a, some miscellaneous stuff, like off-road challenges. Yeah. I think that's Basically, true. it's pretty much everything in this game, except... What are the exceptions? Like, a few... Uh, beach ball. Like, yeah, like beach ball Cr or bus Criminal fares. rating. Yeah, yeah bus fares. <laughs> This game is not like very huge, so it's pretty much you just do everything. You shoot like everybody. <laughs> you shoot everybody. It's not like SA where you don't need to do all the stun jumps because uh, the. Yeah. Actually, GTA 5 beta version. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Warp to the uh, Kruger. Because I saved the replay earlier when I was here doing Kong Crazy. So I can pick that up and work to it, but I still have to pick it up because I trigger the picking up, but I don't actually acquire it in my in my uh, inventory. So I have just to. Well, you don't have you don't have to uh, you don't have to pick it up. Yeah, just but the it's just skip. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you, no, you I can't can save like half a second by not <laughs> picking it up. Well, I have to pick it up here because no. I have to glitch car calls with it. Yeah, that's I, what I, I mean. Like, it's, it's, yeah, it's so useful. Yeah. I, I meant that uh, you have to pick it up if you want it in your uh, inventory. That's what I meant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Same way you can't pick up packages. You can only trigger the picking up, like the sound is gonna play, but you don't actually pick it up. Which would be cool, because you can't pick up packages during rampages. But if I uh, read some donations, Marishka? Hit me up. Because uh, cause we've got a lot already. God damn. We're already at $180 raised, which is crazy. Ooh. 
So Excellent. let's go. Thank you very much to Alex Honix, first off, for $10. It says, first dono Pog. Pog indeed. Thank you very much. And uh, George donated $5. It says, epic. Yeah, yeah, some some solid, uh, <laughs> some solid, uh, solid Shakespearean comments here. Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, an anonymous fifty-five dollar donation. Thank you very much for that. Ten dollars from Tonica saying Footy is coming home. Also, good luck to every runner. Smiling no, face. No, it is not. <laughs> yeah, I can't believe. Absolutely it. agreed. England versus Brazil in the final, and we are gonna stomp them. What does that even mean, bro? <laughs> Oh, so England is the country that I'm from. <laughs> Brazil is the country that's most likely going to win it, but we're going to win it. You see where um, I'm going? Where Marushko is from. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Brazil is the country that... <laughs> yeah. Argentina is winning it, and if you don't believe me, then fuck you. Rock is just fuming because he's got, like, quad nationality and none of his countries are still in the World Cup. <laughs> it's fucking losers, man. Way. <laughs> Okay, and we we'll also play. got a big $100 donation from Zakuri. Thank you so much. Zakuri? Zakuri? No, not, not Zakuri. <laughs> Sakuri. Yeah, Sakuri. Man. Zakuri, where are you? Don't dead name. <laughs> yeah, because he's dead. Also, on, on the unlisted alt that Marusko is streaming at, uh, they, the fucking bots found you somehow. With the promotion of the channels, like big follows. Oh yeah, they they the they find my alts all the time when I stream. That's crazy. <laughs> like you're not even streaming to any game darts or anything. Yeah, they, yeah. Just, they just know. Yeah, you know. Anyways, yeah. make it on top of the police station if you're good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, never made it in my life, and I never will. <laughs> it's okay, man. I will teach you someday. Shit's hard, man. Game's hard. It is. It actually is hard. Yeah. <laughs> you just have to know. Anyway, bail off my bike there. I'm gonna pick it up later. And while I listen to this call, because it unlocks the next mission, I'm gonna pick up a co couple of packages. And I'm run to my bike, which is facing the wrong direction. But... Uh, just a quick sure. thing, by the way, since we already got a $100 donation. Um, Sakuri, I, I can get this sorted for you because you might not know about it um, if you're still here. But if anyone donates a single donation of $100 or more, uh, Save the Children are actually offering t-shirts that you can claim with your donation. Um, so when you make a donation, you can just go to the rewards page. I don't know if you can do it after you've donated or if you have to select prior. But yeah, Sakuri, if you, if you want one and you didn't select it because you didn't know, uh, just let me know and I'm sure I can get them to send you one. But uh, yeah, there's like custom uh, gaming Tuesday 2022 t-shirts to everyone who donates a hundred dollars or more, which is very cool. Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> what? Okay, no, sorry, man. Hey, relax, relax, bro. <laughs> yeah, come and take the game, man. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, there's nothing to see... say, man. I'm just driving. No, bikes. no. Here's uh, here's an uh, interesting uh, showcase of the infinite sprints. So oh, you yeah. might remember this mission, you need to chase this guy on the rooftops. And if you normally, what you're supposed to do, hold the sprint button, you can only catch up to like half of the distance to him. But here, because we're sprinting, you'll see him surpass him even and like drop down way before him and wait for him to kind of run down. On running, it's pretty OP, infinite sprint. It's even worth collecting a package on the way as well. Yeah, yeah. Which is like an extra detour. And then you uh, you might remember in this mission you need to chase this guy like on this little scooter and when he drives his uh, buggy truck. But because Marufka was so fast, he already got to where the, the buggy spawned and he was able to drag the driver out of the buggy and kind of do a little like trick to get control of this buggy and now he can just drive to the uh, ending destination much quicker instead of... I don't think anyone knows what actually happens here. It's just like when you get in at a specific timing, you just like overwrite the guy. Yeah, it's, it's really like a, weird. It's thing. really weird. If you do it, if you try to do it normally, he just drags you out and drives himself. It's like yeah. a pretty tricky setup. Yep. Now time for uh, the most broken vehicle in the game. That's nah, just waste away. You don't even use it. Oh no, you don't use it in Hundo, do you? Yeah. No. Oh. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs>
Yeah, usually in like uh, all missions, you would use this car because it has like the heavy property in order to complete Waste of Life really easy because <laughs> you can just kind of push into her and she just goes flying off the map. Um, but in 100%, there's actually an even more efficient way to do it um, that you'll see fairly soon where Marushko is going to throw a grenade to blow her up in the cutscene. And as long as she blows up before the cutscene ends, you don't actually, um, like, fail. Because usually the mission, you're not allowed to use grenades or guns or anything to destroy her. It has to look like an accident. But as long as you do it before the cutscene ends, the game doesn't, like, penalize you for it. But then a kind of weird thing, because she blows up in the cutscene, the mission, like, locks up for a good, like, I don't know, a minute or two. Exactly. So usually it wouldn't be that fast, but uh, you can use that time to go and grab a load of collectibles and then drive back to the next mission just in time. So it's, it's actually really efficient to do in 100%. It's exactly one minute. That's the time for the exactly car minute, wreck. Yeah. I don't think it's despawn. exactly one minute. It's oh, it's like, despawning it's, that triggers yeah, it's, as soon as the That's car consonant. wreck despawns. So yeah. It's pretty much exactly a minute. As far as some some people timed it like fifty four seconds, fifty seven. That's why it's I did never. It. I did it on your last stream, and it was like pretty much dead on fifty nine or one one. All right, well, maybe, maybe it's different. Yeah, either way, it gives you like pretty much enough time to grab a few packages on the way back, and then get to start the next mission at like exactly at the right time. Yeah, and Works keep your really PCJ. Well. That's the most important part. You can yeah, just do the that. mission with the B BF and just go to the next mission. But you can actually keep this PCJ for uh, this USJ as well. And if you time it correctly, you can actually also skip the... Skip the slow-mo, yeah. Slow -mo. I don't time it. Just go. <laughs> yeah. That was too fast, I guess. I skipped the last 2% of the... Oh god, I'm so fast, guys. Oh, my bad. <laughs> oh, my bad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Can't help it. That felt like more than a minute now. <laughs> Anyways, raining. A lot of rain in this category. That Not good. Messes you up. But it's actually good now, because I don't drive. The weather in this game is on a fixed cycle, so it always happens pretty much at the exact same times in the run. Yep. There's a little, a few exceptions, but uh, we won't like get into that. It's also a bit complicated. Certain missions can override the or pause the uh, patterns, weather patterns. Yeah, it, it can force the weather to change, but then it, at the end of it, it releases that like change and just puts it back on the cycle anyway. So, like 95% of the time, you're on the fixed yeah. cycle regardless. Um, in this mission, you're on the side of this helicopter with the M60, and normally your view is tethered to the uh, movement of the helicopter, and you only get like a 180 degree view. But if Marushko would play a close replay and then press the aim button, he gains full control 360, and it's not tethered anymore, which makes it. And also, it the firing rate is like quadrupled. <laughs> It's one bullet per frame, so 30 bullets per second, which is mad. Yeah. You just absolutely slaughter everyone. There is um, a strategy at the end of this where you can kill Lance and drop him to the ground, which like skips him slowly lowering you down onto the floor. Um, you'd usually see that in other categories, but the issue is is that if you're not quick enough to complete the mission after that happens, Lance can die or the helicopter can explode. I guess both end up in no, the same, the you know. Oh, it's, it's sometimes when you do that, the helicopter can flip and yeah. catches on fire, but in no SSU on all missions, you're just fast enough to grab the briefcase before it blows up. But in 100%, you need to grab the extra package so you don't have enough time. Yeah, it, it is possible, but it's like not nearly consistent enough to make it worth it in 100%. Because, yeah, it all depends on, like, how the heli lands and stuff like that, which you can't really help. Mm, like it's not really worth doing. Yeah. 
couple of very boring missions back to back here. If he dies, I... What do you mean? This is the best mission for commentary because you can teach people how to do it live. <laughs> what? <laughs> what part of that did you not understand? <laughs> First of all, which mission? Fast as bows? <laughs> The one that you're on right now? Which one do you think I'm talking about when I say this mission? I was just starting it, so how could I know? What else are you gonna do? Pick up a package. What do you what do you know about my route? Yes. Pick up the package <laughs> the mission. Like the mission. Get this guy off the stage. <laughs> Anyways, this Neil boat is named. Yeah. Look, look, look. This boat is named Squalo, which in <laughs> Italian means shark. <laughs> Oh wow. I learned today by using Duolingo. <laughs> wow, <laughs> Duolingo. Ed. Yeah, see, Squalo 2. But yeah, you can explain how you do it, I guess. The oldest, one of the oldest tricks in the book. <laughs> You're supposed to fight the guys at the boatyard and then uh, uh, like hit a switch, hit a lever to release the boat into the water, but. Uh, in this game, there's this mechanic or not mechanic to, to where you just, if you're close to a boat, you can just press F and you'll warp into the driver's seat. And it just so happens to uh, be just close enough that you were able to go into the corner of the fence there, press F and you warp into the boat and it drops down on itself. Saves a little bit of time instead of fighting the guys off and hitting the switch. You literally just walk up to the fence and press F. That's it. There's nothing, nothing else to it. Yeah, this game, this mission, that mission has the uh, oldest and the hardest tricks. <laughs> the hardest one being exiting the wall. Getting out of the, yeah, getting out of the mansion grounds. <laughs> <laughs> because the bump is very precise, obviously. And me being the god gamer, I didn't even flinch. Rock and I remember both posting a turtle emoji in your chat the other day, I wonder why. <laughs> yeah. I don't remember why. Yeah. <laughs> Suppressed. Yeah, it's, it's like one of these uh, because Because this game is just the way it is, Mershko played two replays before entering this boat, the cutscene before it, and for some reason he was able to get 800 grenades by doing that. I don't know exactly why, but... <laughs> Just remember that he has a lot of grenades now, which will he he'll use. Uh, it's it's um there's a glitch in this game where you can abuse the turret mode, which is what you're looking at now, which is like the kind of forced first person perspective. Um, and if you set it up in a certain way, you can copy one set of ammo from a certain gun or a weapon onto another. So because of Guardian Angels, where Marushko farmed like a load of Uzi ammo and he has like 800 bullets. Uh, he can use this glitch with the turret mode to basically gain 800 of any other what? weapon he wants to. And uh, the most convenient one <laughs> is 800 grenades. Um, and doubly so, because there's another glitch, a lot of glitches in this game, where uh, you can use explosions of any kind to complete rampages rather than guns. Um, and usually the game would force a gun on you, so you can't use grenades or rockets or anything like that. Um, but there is a, a glitch that allows you to basically overwrite the Rampage weapon with any weapon you like. So for a lot of Rampages, which would usually be quite slow shooting people one by one, Marushko is going to do a glitch that gives him grenades on those Rampages um, that then he can use for the, for the Rampages themselves. The reason why you need 800 grenades when you usually think, you know, on a Rampage you have infinite ammo, you don't actually have infinite ammo. They just give you 30,000 ammunition of whatever gun you have. But once you overwrite it, you no longer have that 30,000. So let's say if you just had eight grenades and Marushko went onto a rampage with grenades, if he threw eight, he would just run out and wouldn't have any left. So he needs that 800 in order to actually do several rampages in a row. Um, so yeah, it's like a it's a whole myriad of glitches that all come together to work out like perfectly. So as you can see, he has 872 grenades there. And he also had 872 bullets of the Uzi. The glitch time. upon glitch upon glitch in this game. <laughs> yeah, and they all just work like perfectly together in harmony. Yeah. yeah but it took many, many years for that. Like... Oh yeah, this was like yeah, yeah. only discovered a few years ago, like 20 years after the game came out. 
And it was discovered like completely by accident as well, which a lot of glitches like, are. Like in this most game. things, yeah. <laughs> yeah, just people doing random shit and just breaking and like, stuff. Hmm, I wonder why this happens. Yeah. And then people look into it. Back to the actually interesting part. And this is where actually my route kind of diverges, diverge, I don't know if that's the word, it just goes differently. Yeah. So I'm gonna obviously do this mission, that's normal, and once I finish it you'll see what's up, <laughs> but before that... And it's probably worth mentioning that like uh, loads of different runners have several different rates in 100% because there's lots of different like things that you can do. <laughs> Uh, to like modify the route, which isn't necessarily faster or slower, or it hasn't been really timed because obviously 100% is such a complex category. Um, so most of the top like five runners all have different routes. Um, so you never really see the same run twice, which is cool. Basically, yeah. Everybody has like their own preferences, what they like to do, like yeah, first yeah, exactly. and you know, there's some variety in it. So uh, I'm gonna get a random vehicle here off the street oops where the hell am I going and I'm gonna go to this rampage and because for the grenades rampage thing to work you need to start the rampage in a vehicle and have your nades selected and then just re-enter the car twice that's the very basic way of explaining it so now you can see I'm doing a shotgun rampage but with grenades which Makes the rampage infinitely faster. Like I'm already down to 11 kills left. And yeah, this these shotgun ones especially are really slow because the shotgun, uh, the basic one that you get is extremely weak, um, and you you can't really one shot people unless you're stood like point blank. So you then have to like shoot the people when they're on the ground as well, and it's just a real pain in the ass to do normally. Yep. It has pretty far range, like you wouldn't expect it, but it's yeah, damage is nice. Yeah. And now, I've answered this call, and I have my nades in hand. This is another way you can start it. I pick up the rampage, and Tommy lets go of the phone call, but because the rampage triggered before the call ended, I am able to still have the nades out for the rampage. And I'm just doing a couple of rampages back to back to back with uh, with nades. It's... Yeah, this is also just like complete abuse of like the game's priority list. Um, so there, as Marushko said, like the rampage is a higher priority to start, and then afterwards, Tommy puts down the phone, which resets his weapon. Um, so it's just lucky that that happens in that order, because otherwise mm. the glitch wouldn't work. And it's mm. the same with the the vehicle version. Uh, the reason it works is because when you get into a vehicle, no matter what your rampage weapon is, um, as long as you have a drive-by vehicle, such as like an SMG in your hand, the game will always give you the SMG when you're in a car. And then when you exit, it always puts you back to the weapon that you had. Um, so again, it's just a priority list thing where no matter what like rampage you're supposed to be on, the game will just give you the weapon that you had equipped at the time. I knew that a code monkey would read that explanation. <laughs> I think it's like tied to like frames. Rampages check every soul frames and phone calls like something like that. Yeah, cry about it, partner. <laughs> <laughs> you get up on the stage and you do. <laughs> Oh, right what? I'm uh, not good, cousin. It's gonna get out of here. Anyways, uh, now... Ooh, what the hell? A little close. Now that I finished this rampage, I'm gonna want a cop car. So I'm gonna want a, two cop cars, actually, to follow me. So, as I finish the rampage. I'm gonna shoot these cops so they follow me. And I'm gonna buy this uh, Hyman condo, the uh, very expensive house. And Save it has, game. yeah, I'm just immediately mm. saving the game. <laughs> Woo! 
Ooh, he often crashes here. I crash, I get busted, my bike despawned. <laughs> what the f can this <laughs> can this shit go normal for once? <laughs> so anyways I started blasting. <laughs> Where did my star go man? What is this? Good route. Yeah, it's rough. Never have Oh there they are, what the hell? <laughs> Just popped up. Uh hello, please. Just drive, man. <laughs> You're already there. I know, but it's faster than work. <laughs> okay, so there's the other cop car, finally. Good thing I saved. Nice one, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I see a cop car, but I think it despawned, so I'm just gonna shoot even more people. Anyways, let's let's get serious, guys. Come on. <laughs> what, what is this shit? It's a setup for later. Yeah. What is this? I have to save and load anyway. So. <laughs> In the meantime, we have fifteen dollars from Potato with the comment Potato. Absolutely. And we yeah. have a uh, four twenty from Veldin, saying, uh, "Tommy must have had his wheat bix this morning." I get that reference. Anyone else get that reference? No. His what? Weetabix. No. I know what Weetabix is. No. Bro, get, get a hobby, man. Read a book. <laughs> and we have uh, $20 from Bitter, who will be appearing later on this week with the GTA 3 Definitive Edition. Very exciting. <clears throat> saying GLGL. There you go, Marishka. Now you're going to have good luck for the rest of the run. No, oh, no more busting. Fuck yeah. <laughs> See? Already putting the luck to good use. Yeah. Hold up, sir. I want to die. <laughs> I don't get want all, to take. You get all, all the luck that you want, but if you can't hit a shot to save your life, then. <laughs> not very useful. Okay. I have 10 seconds. Or not 10, but like one hour. 50 You're seconds. watching a professional. Game. Oh my god, why is my. Hold it's on. worth noting that the. Uh... What are you doing, man? Nothing. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> It's worth noting that the stadium events are only open from 8 p.m. till midnight, so uh, yeah, he's on a bit of a time crunch here. Yeah, that's fine. Now this is the actual luck part. See, all of this, everything that went wrong was my fault, but now if <laughs> anything goes wrong, it's not my fault. No way. <laughs> yeah, stadium events in this game are complete shit, to put it uh, as nicely <laughs> as possible. They, they suck. Um, Hot Ring is... I, I, I don't even know if it's worse than Blood Ring. They're both terrible. Uh, but basically, Oops. you yeah. have to complete all three of these stadium events. Uh, this one, yeah. Hot Ring, is just like a, a circuit race, like a NASCAR race. But these guys drive like they have no arms. Like, <laughs> they, they drive backwards, they drive into you, and it's just complete chaos. And you have to do 12 laps, and you have to win at the end of the 12 laps. <laughs> and as you can see, like, they're just blowing each other up, they're just driving into Marushko constantly, and it's just complete chaos. Like, sometimes you can just get completely stun-locked and there's nothing you can do about it. Sometimes they just blow up next to you, there's nothing you can really do about that. And yeah, it's it's complete nonsense. Uh, Blood Ring is also complete bollocks, but we'll get into that later, I suppose. Because... Yeah. And you're supposed to drive 12 full laps with these idiots, and you see them swerving left and right, blowing themselves up. But of course, they just respawn indefinitely. But if you blow up, you failed. You're done. Yeah, it's it's <laughs> yeah, it's stupid. There's and there is like a to... pit stop place where you can stop and repair your car. You see his health bar on the top right there. Um, but if you do that, you'll just lose because you know they're, they're just gonna do laps while you're repairing your car. It's not so like an instant. Instead, uh, it's yeah, not like exactly, an instant yeah. repair, you need to fully stop and it's like increases slowly. You need to wait like a f almost a full 10 seconds to get full health, it's not worth it. Yeah, exactly. It's it's a number one way to guarantee that you don't win, basically. Uh, so instead, Marushko made a replay of the, the clothes on top of the Hyman condo. And that thankfully repairs your car. Um, so if it's on fire, you can set it to like 1 HP, basically. It's not really 1 HP before the code monkeys start crying, yeah, we it's know. a little bit, a little bit now. But, yeah. but it's, for all intents and purposes, it's like 1 HP one, in the one sense bump. That, you know. Yeah, yeah one bump again. and you'll reset on fire, but then you can play the close replay again and it, you know, takes out the fire and 
you basically have infinite health for all intents and purposes. Yeah, it's uh, as Caster said. Cars health have 1,000 HP and you get 300. At 250, they start burning. Yeah. I know that from Sam. Two more lives. So, wow. <laughs> People still play that. Got down. That's that's literally the response I get when I say, "Yeah, I play some Vice City." <laughs> <laughs> you should know better, even. You yes, still play do. that? That's when you're applying. Go. Yeah, it came out last year. <laughs> it's really good. And there are 200 people watching it right now. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah, dude! Thanks for letting me know. <laughs> <laughs> two two thousand yeah, um, people just saw me get busted there. Twenty thousand yeah. people. <laughs> They're all laughing at you. How how are there like two thousand people on this stream and there's like seven hundred in the world? <laughs> True. Anyways, last lap to trigger the end of this shit <laughs> fast. <laughs> you just exit and uh, <laughs> and you just warp back. To save a couple of times again. Why is this cop car yeah. so green? Is it just me? <laughs> oh my god, he's hallucinating already. <laughs> <laughs> We're legit 45 minutes in. <laughs> he's like going colorblind. No, no, I saw that too. <laughs> okay, bright. so time for a. Looks perfectly normal to me. Time for a um, blood ring. And what I do here on blood ring is I actually set up a on mission zero call. Oh, you and, did the... Yeah, yeah. Bruh. On the foot, blood ring. Yeah. yeah, so... Major geek shit. Major geek shit. It's actually better, trust me. Yeah. And you also get to answer a call, which is cool. So, come here, and I trigger blood ring, <laughs> get on the bike, and then I hold W and F. And, uh, I can't skip this cutscene, but for other reasons, it doesn't involve anything on Mission Zero slash on foot. But anyways, during the cutscene, I'm gonna answer this call, and you can see I'm on foot, and I have movement here. And what I just did is I jumped and I rolled, and I played a replay of the close pickup, which cancels the roll, and basically now you're gonna see, like, people are gonna bump into me, but you see I don't fall. And that's what makes it, like, a, a little better. It's still ass, but it's a little better, because... <laughs> Is it really worth it? It's worth it All if they this? spawn close to me, but they don't. <laughs> on, on, average, <laughs> on average, it's better, but yeah, the strats all sucks. Because the idea of Blood Ring is that you're supposed to be in a car with all these guys, uh, and you're supposed to collect checkpoints, and when you collect a checkpoint, it gives you plus 15 seconds on the timer, and you need to get up to a minute to pass it. And if it goes down to zero seconds, you lose. Um... But the issue is, is that they co they coded this like idiots, or idiots or really nasty, horrible people, whichever <laughs> way. Um, so instead of everybody going for the checkpoints, some of the people go for the checkpoints, and some of them just try to crash into you. So like, you're the main character, of course. So yeah, like half of those guys are literally employed to just take you out, which just makes it complete bullshit, because like, oh. the, the checkpoints are random, and if one spawns behind you and you try and turn around, you just turn around and there's 12 guys ramming into you and it's just, it's GG. There's nothing you can do. It's really dumb how they made it. Now for the best stadium event. Yeah, yeah the, the only one that isn't like stacked against you completely. This is 100% skill based. Yeah. Oh my god, what is So let's see. Uh, can I just start, please? Thank you. <laughs> I'm trying to do a little trick, but whatever. <laughs> I'm gonna run out of time. And now I have rain, so please, no expectations. Oh, boo-hoo. <laughs> yeah, so a, a good meme about this one um, is even though you are clearly indoors, uh, you are still affected by rain. So in this game, when it rains, uh, you slide about when you're on, like, grass and things like that. Um, and because of a way that, yeah, like, interior weather's handled, uh, even when you're inside, you still have to deal with rain physics, even though you shouldn't have to. So uh, doing this with rain is very epic. Yeah. And I think it's not only like rain, but also rain on grass, which is like double. Yeah, yeah. It's, it, it's double <laughs> shit. Yeah. yeah. This is what separates the men from <laughs> the, the boys. boys. from the boys. The men from the boys. 
PSA is falling off. Eh, I already missed one. Well, to be fair, you need a pretty high IQ to be able to do the blood reader job. Yeah. In under two minutes. <laughs> yeah, a, a good time for this is, yeah, like just under two minutes. Um, but it's very difficult to do that. It's uh, Especially in rain. Yeah, for Marushko especially. I am pretty good at blood ring. <laughs> I'll yeah, show you at the end. I'll show you at the end of the run. All right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. As yeah. I promised, look. Wait, wait. <laughs> I'll show you at the end of the run. Come here and I'll show you. <laughs> <laughs> I'll show you. Yeah. So this is simple. It's just uh, collecting the checkpoints. I don't believe you can fail this unless you like you know leave the bike for too long. Like you mm. can't run out of time, right? I think. Yeah, you get. But uh, the you get different amounts of money depending on how quick you are. Oh yeah. So if you complete it within <laughs> five minutes, I want to say you get fifty grand, mm. and anything else you get ten grand, I think. So there might be a lower one, but I don't know what it is. Just a uh, interesting fact about this route is that it all depends on you making, that, like beating dirt ring before five minutes, because you need the fifty k for buying Malibu early. <laughs> And if you uh, don't have the 50k, yeah. you're gonna yeah. be fucked. So yeah, luckily five minutes is pretty pretty yeah. safe. Like it, it has to go very wrong for five minutes to be uh, tricky. I'm probably going on three here, three and yeah. a half. Like look at this shit. <laughs> this fucking rain. Four, <laughs> four and a half. Uh, it's pretty painful. As nice. you can see, like a, a lot of the. The ones where you have to like bounce up the the car, like the beaten up cars, um, it's like very difficult to do it consistently because you can just sort of like slide about and bounce off them weirdly and stuff like that. Like, like the the physics is technically consistent, but you have to be really good to be able to predict what the physics are going to throw back at you. Yeah, the collision models, those wrecks are funky. questionable at best. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, that's my fault. This one is my fault. <laughs> this one I fucked up. <laughs> and now I still have to go back to pick up the first one because it was raining and I didn't have enough speed at the start. Why didn't you do the big looping? Because I want to do this. It's on the way. That's okay. And now, for the final chapter. Two minutes and a half, just like I said. <laughs> Alright. Fuck this mission. Now I have my nades in hand. I'm done with stadium events. No more. Two years enough. And I'm gonna do this rampage. It's a flamethrower rampage. Reflect my camera a little bit so that the regular pedestrian spawn and the uh, rampage spawns come in. And now he drives away, so hopefully yeah. those people despawn when they're f far enough away for new people to spawn. Yeah, if you did these rampages casually, you might have remembered that like you might fail them because you just don't have enough people to kill. And that's usually because the, the game gives you a really heavy weapon, like the flamethrower, and you can't sprint with the flamethrower, and you can't um, switch away from it once you're on a rampage, because you're just stuck with that weapon. So unless you have like a vehicle nearby and you sort of drive away and come back and whatever else, then a lot of the time you'll just get like one group of people that you can fight, you kill them, and then just nobody else spawns, because yeah, yeah like just... their corpses are still spawned in. And you're standing there and like, why is nobody spawning? Yeah. Again, it's not something that, like, when you're casually playing the game that you really think about, but it's, like, really important to be able to complete these, like, consistently and fast. Otherwise, you'll just fail them a whole bunch. Yep. So... We're done with this section. Back to regular missions. But before that, only one more rampage. You Thank do. God, because you know, stadium events is like easily one of the worst parts of Hundo, I'd say. Man, I can't throw for shit. Um, dude, what is wrong with my throwing? 
Usually when you do a, enough rampages, you start to get used to how many people should be around an area. So for example, this is kind of... okay, never mind. But it, it would have been kind of weird if it was just two groups. It's usually three if you don't have any glitch cars and any other things uh, disrupting. Oh, fuck. So I'm gonna ask for this call as well. Pick up the package at the helipad, and here begins the heli section. So first of all, actually, I'm gonna pick up this package before I do anything. Probably also worth uh, mentioning about JP as well. Oh. I don't know okay. if you touched on that earlier. No, I haven't really. <laughs> it's a lot of stuff to explain. Yeah. If you, if you want to do it. Uh, so the, the reason he's playing in Japanese, um, it's the same reason, like, if you're familiar with the usual reason, it's the same reason in this. Uh, but basically, the Japanese and a few of the releases of the game were released later on, after the original um, versions came out on PC. And they're what they call the Haitian-friendly versions. So, like, edits were made to the game to remove, like, basically all the Haitian flaming that went on. Um, so you'll you'll notice that like the phone calls are different. Um, like Diaz just says "dickhead" instead of "Haitian dickhead" and uh, stuff like that. Um, Cortez doesn't talking ab talk about hating the damn French anymore. They remove that. <laughs> it's basically censored. Uh, you can't shoot people and blow their heads up because that's like not allowed in Japanese games, I guess, to get like a proper rating. Uh, but yeah, so a lot of things are changed externally but also internally as well in terms of like the way the game's coded and basically what that means is um like because the game's code is written different it's structured differently as well um so glitches later on that require um certain like offsets in the code to line up it means that depending on the version that you're playing of the game uh the glitches like will only work on certain versions so there's quite a few insta passes that either only work on the international copy, which is like the Steam version, or they only work on the Haitian friendly version. Some of them work on both, some of them, you know, don't work at all. Um, but it just so happens that one insta pass later on that you'll be seeing um, is like much faster to do on the Japanese version. And it's like very useful for a million different reasons that we'll get into later. So it basically means that like ha Haitian friendly versions of the game are basically required in order to, um, like, do this route. And there are other releases that aren't the Japanese version, just like the Australian version, which has the same script, so you it's still Haitian-friendly and you could use it. But those versions are, like, completely broken. Um, for example, if you try and use the ammunition, the game just crashes. If you try and complete one of the film studio missions, it just crashes as well. So they're, like, basically unplayable. But thankfully, the Japanese release doesn't have any of those problems. So it's like the best of both worlds, basically. Thank you. And it just means that if you want to get into running VC, you have to learn fluent Japanese so you can read <laughs> what's going on. Hospital room? There goes the careful planning for this shit. <laughs> yep. Thanks to you. You screwed up real good, Lance. You killed my brother. What do you expect me to do? Like, we we joke, uh, because, you know, if, if you're good at the game, you'll already know what to do. But unironically, in 100%, you do need to actually know the the Japanese words, or at least the Japanese, like, characters, for some of the uh, taxi de destinations later. You need to recognize because, them, yeah. Yeah, you need, you yeah. need to recognize them. I basically uh, remember Because too. you need to set up, like, certain taxi destinations for a glitch later, and there's no other way to know which one it is besides reading the Japanese text, really. Yeah, there. Are, we'll, we'll, yeah, we'll there's a a total of four that you can use, but because I'm lazy, I only learn the fastest ones. Nice. <laughs> if I do get bike store and uh, police station, I'm not picking it because I'm I don't even know that that's it. But yeah, four hours later, you'll see what's up. <laughs> Literally. So quick mission here with the helicopter, much easier than you would do it without the heli. 
because you get chased by cars and stuff like that, you get shot a lot, you have to kill a lot of people, but with the helicopter you just, uh, yeah, Fire over everything. yeah, and you enter the, the compound, the pad immediately where it lands, yeah, don't have to fight through it. So, yeah, that's it. Since there's a lot of water, this is like based after Miami. Heli is like the fastest way to get across. Yeah, and you can't swim. <laughs> yeah. Not that if you could, it'd be <laughs> worth it, but... <laughs> Swimming would be way faster. <laughs> Unfortunately, we can't. You know, in like mega boomer times in uh, San Andreas, there was a bit where you literally just swam like across the map, all the way down the <laughs> yeah, river. Yeah, yeah, from Angel Plane. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And it was <laughs> so slow. <laughs> Uh, damn major major <laughs> plot point, guys. Um, we killed Diaz, even though he has ambushed the deal. The <laughs> deal that you don't see. <laughs> we haven't even introduced Diaz. Like, who yeah. are we <laughs> This is Tommy Vassetti. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you kill Diaz. There you go. You clip yeah. into the mansion, you kill him. And then you trigger the cutscene, but since he's already dead, there's no cutscene. And. <laughs> It just passes the mission and boom, you have... There is a cutscene, you just skip it. It is, yeah. There's one half of it, where he does, where he dies, but not him coming out. Very true. And now you, uh, you start taking over. That's the story. Anyways, back yeah, to glitches. He... Like... <laughs> <laughs> There's like two halves of this game. He just finished the first half, he like took over the mansion, and now the... Second half of the game starts where you need to establish taking like over the world. Yeah, take over the world, and you, yeah, you'll you'll see. You buy all these properties, and you do these missions, so people pay you. You become the new mafia boss. Yeah, mafia city. Yeah, level one thug versus level one hundred <laughs> street crime lord or whatever. Level one Tommy versus level three hundred Diaz. You know what's like so bad about like those kind of mobile ads nowadays is those stupid ass mobile ads aren't even like the worst stuff i see anymore every time i open up youtube now i get like a fake mr beast ad that's like <laughs> anyone who clicks on this gets a thousand dollars for christmas I just it's get obviously it. just like a phishing scam but it's like what the fuck youtube like why do you allow that shit i just get porn i don't know <laughs> Okay. Oh, yeah, there might be a reason for that. I'm pretty sure, uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty sure uh, YouTube recommends based on what you search for. So if you just start <laughs> typing in porn into YouTube, you'll, that'll probably happen, yeah. Um, Naked women. Yeah. Little nasty move. Ne never search for that. <laughs> I wonder why. Alright, anyway. I'm not... <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> that shotgun okay. took me by surprise. So <laughs> I did a robbery there. Oh, I forgot about these two. Yep, casual gameplay, guys. Forgot about these two. Shoots three. <laughs> <laughs> this guy. Uh, buy a sniper there because I'm gonna use it later. Do another robbery. There's a whole lot of stores you can rob in the mall, and I'm gonna get all of them during this mission, but in the fastest way possible. Yeah, for some reason, in terms of collectibles, you have to rob every single store except the ammunitions. Those ones just don't matter for some reason. Yeah, because they're the good guys. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> America. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because you, you can rob the tool stores. You can also buy melee weapons there, but not the actual yeah. guns. Yeah, but super Fun weird. fact, if you, if you try and rob the ammunitions, they just shoot back at you, which yeah. is not good. <laughs> Why fight back? I've done that a few times by mistake. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, so I have one this more. Is the, uh, this is the worst rampage in the game. It's actually very calculated. So, here, I'm gonna teach you. Listen and watch. You come here at the end, you flick your mouse a little bit, and you're gonna have a couple of spawns here and there. So, I'm gonna explode myself. Yeah, w one, gr one group. Yeah, that's, nothing that's else. crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> Maybe I didn't flick it up. There it is. <laughs> Yeah. Look how hard I can flick. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Anyways, you kill whatever you can here, and then you come over here and you rob the store. So by the time you finish with robbing, and you also like exit out a little bit, the spawns respawn, and you can finish the rampage 
are they, man? <laughs> it's worth mentioning this? as well with robberies, like, because what, what Rock was saying before on PC, you don't actually have to aim at people because you can't really do that on PC. Uh, so all that you need to do is just, there's two checks. One, that you're looking at them, and two is that you have a weapon in your hand. Notice how I didn't say gun, because the game doesn't actually check for, like, specific weapons. So even if you have, like, a detonator or a camera or something in your hand, you can still rob the stores with those, like, weapons that aren't really weapons. As long as you have, like, something to threaten mm. the uh, people with, it counts. And as you can see, like, what Marushko was doing before, you can also do it through walls and or windows, I guess, because you're yeah. still counting as looking at them. You can also do just it on a distance. Yeah, it's just a distance vehicle. check, yeah, if you're close enough. Yeah. And now for another very boring part, he's uh, <coughs> this mission and, and the next couple of rampages very annoying and very uncomfortable. Yeah. Thankfully, this is like the only RC mission that you do the intended way, quote unquote. Like the yeah. the one on the beach, you technically do the intended way, but also like there's a lot more to it at that time. Uh, so you actually need to concentrate. Whereas this one, you literally just hold W and there's nothing really else to it. And then the other one is Instapast much later on. And thank God, because that one's the worst. And the, um, the hardest one is also Instapast. You forgot about that one, did you? The hardest one? Oh, you mean uh, <laughs> the... <laughs> yeah, Demolition Man. What, watch Mojo. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's uh, the Notorious Helicopter Mission. You also Instapast that. Uh, yeah. You're not going to see me flying any RC helicopters anytime soon. <laughs> and before I fuck it up and I have to do yeah. it and you clip it and haha. Uh -huh. Anyways, if I fuck it up, stream's done, guys. Good night. Just use uh, our mission changer and redo it, to be honest. Yeah. Or we'll I'm just gonna. Ed completing that mission normally. I'm just gonna hide my screen for 4 minutes 20 seconds, baby. Because I'm yeah. fast. Uh huh. <laughs> uh huh. Yeah, Ambitious. the 4 minute 20 seconds is the uh, meme. Back in the day when we used to do the mission, there's like a little timer on the left that shows how much time you have left. If you manage to do it with 4 minutes and 20 seconds left, that means you're like a god gamer fast. I don't, I don't, I don't know if think, anyone yeah. did it. Yeah, surely someone's done it. Like yeah, you or several people. Yeah. yeah, guys, so uh, me and my friends used to have this joke back in the day. I don't know if you ever heard of it. It's called 420. Everyone knows. Uh, you know, it's, it's, it's like the, uh, the, the the weed number, but it's something <laughs> that me and my friends came up with a long time ago. You guys wouldn't get it. You guys wouldn't yeah, get yeah. it. Yeah, yeah you it wouldn't get it because yeah. you would never you come close. <laughs> Snoop Dogg. <laughs> <laughs> okay, RNG. What cars do I get here? S. Can I take a taxi, I guess? So I'm just gonna check out here. Yeah, more ass. <laughs> so the taxi is the best bet out of all the cars that I get. Sometimes you can get a PCJ, sometimes you can get nothing but Glendales. So good thing I have at least yeah, the taxi. You, you never so. really get stuff in between. It's either like <laughs> yeah. god tier cars or shit tier cars. Oh my god, why the fuck did it drop on my feet, bro? <laughs> See, oh, I'm like... What is going on, bro? <laughs> yeah, so with, with grenades, like, even though Rampages with grenades is way better than using regular guns, sometimes you can get memes still. Uh, like, for example, depending on where you um, throw the grenade, uh, the geometry, like the floor, has seams in it because they're not, like, fully connected properly because this is an old game. And it can actually, if you throw it in the perfect spot, it can actually fall through the ground, like, between the cracks. Um, of the different parts of the ge geometry, which can get you killed. And also, as you saw there, um, you can also sort of throw it, and I don't know if it's a, if they, they, like, shoot the grenade or what, but it'll just, like, appear at your feet and just blow you into next week. <laughs> yeah. Nice, just something with the animation, like, he just doesn't want to throw it. So doesn't weird. throw it, yeah, it's, it's dumb. It can happen with, like, even no, no people in front of you, it's just, it interrupts yeah. for some reason. Usually yeah, the I mean, reason... There's like a million rampages here, so I just do them all back to back. <clears throat> yeah, usually the reason that thing happens with the uh, grenade dropping at my feet, it's actually because you try to be too fast. So you yeah. kind of like mess up the animation and you glitch it out. The animation of Tommy throwing the grenade. 
You're but saying yeah. it's your fault? Yeah, it is. Yeah. <laughs> good to know. And good thing I need a cop car here, so me losing that taxi didn't matter all too much. But I'm just gonna walk away so I can respawn the that group over there. That was there. <clears throat> oh nice, I glitched to Tommy. <laughs> <laughs> He's shooting the passenger. <laughs> and now for the last rampage, I'm actually gonna. Ooh, I don't wanna want it low because when you get stars, you. I mean, I'm gonna get a star immediately anyway. Fuck my life. Yeah, there we go. So if you get two stars, cop cars start spawning and they, they take, take up memory, take. yeah. Prevent rampage spawns from yeah. spawning. And if you like kill enough people with two stars, eventually you're gonna get three stars, and that's when cops on the street also start spawning in. And oh my god, can you please let me do my thing? <laughs> and if you're in a vehicle and you have three stars, they'll start throwing spike strips at you. And uh, spike strips are very bad because they're coded very poorly, <laughs> and uh, they can crash your game if you're not careful, um, especially. Um, with with 100% runs, you do a lot of different glitches that we've talked about before. You'll be doing a lot more as we go along, and the game becomes very unstable. So that plus poorly coded spike strips is almost a guaranteed crash if you're if you're unlucky enough. So avoiding three stars at all cost is like usually the best way of playing. Yeah. Yeah. And just to be edgy, I'm gonna make a save replay, or I'm gonna <laughs> save the game during Vigilante. So if I load the save, the game is gonna crash. And you might be thinking, like, why would I need a save that crashes my game? But later on, there's gonna be a point in the game where I want to exit the game. And if you've played Vice City, you know that exiting the game is really slow. What oh, that's heck? huge! Yeah, what so I'm gonna crash my game on purpose later on, so it exits faster, basically. That's that might event. be the biggest brain shit I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy. But yeah. So, there's an on-mission zero call here. Answer it, start the mission. Call finishes. And I'm on mission zero on the mission now. And I'm gonna hold this call for a couple of missions. But that's. Uh, was I gonna say? We that's... didn't explain holding the call. So, oh, in yeah. this game, when your phone rings and you press the button, so whatever button to answer the call, like let's say if you press down the button and then you release it, that's when you actually pick up the phone. So as long as you hold the button down, you you don't answer the call, and you can abuse that to like. If you uh, bind your key to certain actions, you can do it in a vehicle as well, so it like, doesn't get cancelled, you're holding the call. And combined with the, like, on mission zero, blah blah, you can carry calls through a mission into another one, which you'll see right at the end here. Yeah, it's worth mentioning as well that you can only get a phone call if you don't have any police attention. Um, so you'll see a lot of strategies are developed, such as that one, where he runs over the guys because it gives you less police attention than shooting them. Um, so he can continue to get like his phone ringing during parts of the missions that he wants it to. Uh, because otherwise, if you get the wrong type of police attention, then your phone won't ring and the strat won't work. Yeah. So right now he's holding the call, so he's constantly keeping that button held down while he's doing all of this other stuff. Walking, shooting, so yeah. Yeah, it's not easy to do. It's something that you gotta get used to. Take some practice, you know. Yeah. Train your pinky. And, uh, yeah, this is all done to basically turn the phone call into basically like a free infinite use on mission switcher. Uh, because you can just like cancel the call at any time to go on mission zero. So when you complete a mission with the phone call held, it turns into an on mission zero phone call, which basically means that when you take the call, it doesn't switch your on mission flag, it keeps you on mission zero. So as you can see there, Marushko took the call um, and then cancels it with the bike by because you can cancel phone calls um, by just getting into a vehicle if they're in this like glitch state. Um, 
and then he just goes right back on mission zero again. And then his, if his phone rings, he goes back on mission one. And if it cancels, it goes back on mission zero. So you can basically use it to just trigger the on mission state to whatever you want it to be at any time. It's very useful. And uh, fun fact as well, for some odd reason, well, I mean, there is a known reason, but it's a very strange one. Um, the, it only works holding phone calls in vehicles due to a weird thing with the PS2 controls of this game. So you might think, like, how on earth do the PS2 controls matter at all in a PC game? And it's because, one, we usually give the same excuse, the game is very old. Uh, and two, this port is based on the PS2 version of the game, and a lot of the control things still carry over. Um, for example, if you're in a vehicle inside of a cutscene, you actually press W to skip it instead of sprint. And the reason for that is because when you're in a vehicle, the X button on the PS2 controller is what you would use to skip it. And that is accelerate inside of a vehicle and sprint on foot. So it actually changes. Whereas on the PS2 controller, it doesn't change at all. And the same applies here. Um, so you have to bind the button to what you would bind it to on a PS2 controller, which is the radio change in a car. And the L1 button on the controller. Yeah, exactly. It's used for phone calls on foot and radio in a car. Yeah. So it only works if you bind it like a PS2 controller, which is very <laughs> weird, but yeah, it's how the game works internally. What the fuck? And it's also why in uh, San Andreas, you have to bind it to your secondary fire button um, inside of a vehicle to be able to hold controls. It's exactly the same thing, because it's based on the PS2 control scheme of the game. Yeah, I'm just like, staying quiet during this mission, because everything goes wrong in this mission, so I'm just Yeah, this mission to... is, is really tough to do fast. Um, there's a million things that you've got to keep an eye on, like obviously the different targets that you've got to kill, uh, the police, the phone call management, there it is. and collectibles as well. Like, it's really not easy to do. Alright, that's the last of the brand pages that I have to do for now. I'm gonna switch my focus now to a USJ that I skipped earlier because I didn't have a PCJ. And you could still do it with a car, but this one is actually like really annoying to do with a car. I don't know why, you just kind of like have different physics. Again, collisions. Yeah. Yeah, if you hit that ramp straight with a car, you go into the ramp that's on the other side because, you, you know, the... Uh, there's two different ramps that go on both sides of the bridge. Um, so if you do it with a car, most of the time you just hit the other ramp on the other side and just do like a million flips and blow your car up. Oh my. There we go. So I just wanted to blow it up so I can be as close as possible to the uh, PCJ. Because this next guy, the last guy, he starts driving around the city aimlessly. And I want to catch him as fast as I can, so... As I kill the la the second to last guy, I want to immediately start chasing this guy. And luck lucky for me, he was stuck at a red light. So, it actually ends right here where I want it to. And as you might yeah. have seen on the previous guy, he shot the ground, like the grass. Oh, With yeah. the sniper, you can shoot through many, uh, like, uh, not textures, but like... Uh, like walls and geometry yeah. and stuff, you can shoot through. So, through yeah, ge uh, geometry, you objects. can shoot through a lot of stuff. Yeah. You'll see one particular use later. And now it's time for a three minute break where you can <laughs> go and shit. Read donations. Yeah. It's not a break for me because I'm holding a call yeah. right now. 
Oh, really? Yeah, it's really bad. Oh, did this whole thing all on a call, which is yeah. tragic. But... Uh, just a quick info uh, to pass. So he just bought his first, I think it was his first no, property. No, works. Yeah, technically, like, yeah. Yeah. You, you not only you need to buy the properties, but you need to also do missions for them. So they uh, give you money. So you like complete them as well. And for completing this asset pole position, you need to spend 300. Yeah, 300 dollars. Yeah, 300. And you do that by just sitting in this room and you get uh, minus five dollars every seven seconds. But if you just quit out and enter the room, it only takes four seconds. So it's three seconds faster each time. and. You can do the maths three times 60. It's one minute, 180 seconds faster. <laughs> Huge. Huge. Nice, man. Nice, man. Huge. And every time you spend $100, you get a different model as well. So yeah. he's, oh, yeah. he's, just, he's just upgraded to the, uh, the cowboy <laughs> or cowgirl lady. The best one, in my yeah. opinion. As a porn connoisseur. <laughs> just the one who gets YouTube porn ads. <laughs> Where am I going? Come on. Where am I going? Yeah. I, I tried to do something uh, off screen, you wouldn't know. Yeah, I'm not going to let you continue that sentence. We got $5 <laughs> for Anonymous. Thank you so much, Anonymous. <laughs> and uh, also worth mentioning as well, um, it's mentioned in the chat a few times, but I'll say it on the stream as well. Um, so not only uh, are all of the proceeds from the donations going straight towards Save the Children, but also any Twitch revenue that I make. So any money from subs, bits, advertisements, sponsors, you know, bounties, everything uh, from my Twitch paycheck for the duration of this event will also go straight to the total at the end. So if you don't have any money to donate, but you have some bits or you have like a prime or something like that, then feel free to use it on the channel because it'll all be um, supporting the charity straight up. So yeah. Even just small things, like as much as a dollar can provide like medicine to a child in need and literally save their life from things like, you know, pneumonia and you can buy them like, I forget what they're called, but like, you know, mosquito nets, right? To like pr protect them during the night. They're not expensive at all. Like even, yeah, a dollar, five dollars, ten dollars can save several kids' lives. So, yeah. Thank you to everyone who's supported so far. Make a huge difference. Yeah. In just a little amount. Wow, that was fast. Yeah, it's a quick asset. I can still I feel my pinky, which is fun. weird. When you max, you can make up to four thousand dollars with the with the pole position now. Imagine how many kids Tommy could save if he donated <laughs> that four thousand dollars. <laughs> Indeed. So. Before I start this mission, there's two USJs here on the pier that I couldn't do earlier because it wasn't unlocked. But now since the second island has been unlocked for a while now, I can safely enter and do them. You can still enter, but it requires a, a frame perfect jump. <laughs> <laughs> it's a really dumb setup to get here early. It's, yeah. Uh, not worth it and 100% you can just do them later. Yeah, and finally, my number one dream is to come here and let go of this call. Yeah, all of this, all of the previous <laughs> two or three missions was just to get the phone call in this mission. Because it's kind of an auto scroller, that means you can't really speed it up. You can slow it down if you like, don't shoot them fast enough, but you can't like really speed it up. So you make the most of it by taking all the calls you have in queue right now, one after another. Yep. And just yeah, there are around. quite a few segments where you're just basically cleaning up the phone call queue because otherwise you'll just be stood around taking them and that's very slow. Taking them during missions is much more optimal. I just blow up these three boats with my M60. Can despawn them for a swag, I guess. <laughs> and the next cutscene triggers, so I'm listening to another phone call. This one's also kind of long, but not the longest. The longest one is the next one. Oh my god. So I snipe these three guys. And you can see I kind of snipe uh, in perspective, I guess. That's if that's a phrase. 
Like what? in in advance. In advance, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the boat still moves. <laughs> in retrospect, I killed him. Yeah. It's like, okay, I translated it from Bulgarian. My oh, bad. it's okay. We, we understood. Yeah. Problem, it's to go back on Duolingo for that one. Yeah, my yeah. bad. <laughs> I can't believe this. I don't even know if they support Bulgarian. Ah, they probably do. They teach, they teach like Klingon and shit like that. There's no way they, <laughs> yeah. there's no way they started doing fake languages before they did all the real languages, <laughs> right? needs Bulgarian. <laughs> <laughs> but Bulgarian is just Russian, isn't it? Am I right? Yeah, us? basically, yeah. Wrong. <laughs> Russian okay. is Bulgarian. Alright. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. Learn it. Oh my god, they've got a helicopter. Anyway, it's just dicking around with these calls. This is the longest call, it's just Lance bitching about not being paid and shit like that. Yeah. Just some uh take a few days dumb shit. <laughs> I'm a boss. Yeah, you notice that uh Marushka blew up a certain boat in the blockade earlier? And that's because that is also a um, like a condition for the mission to pass. Um, so you have to blow up the the middle boat in that blockade. Um, otherwise, it'll tell you that like you know the the way is blocked. You can't continue on until you destroy it. So you destroy it prematurely, and then you blow up the attack helicopter, and that's it. You can go through. Yeah, you only need to take out the middle boat, not the full roadblock, as you can see. Yeah. Yeah. And now that I finished the mission, I spawn in the middle of the sea. But since I made a replay over Malibu, I can just warp. And because of the dirt ring money, I have enough money for this. I think I would have had enough anyway. <laughs> but anyways, save my game here. Because next mission is pretty ass. Eben, you can tell us all about it, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> Won't you? <laughs> yeah, No Escape is uh, it's a very epic mission. Um, so you... The entire plot point of the Malibu Club is to start a bank heist, um, otherwise known as the job. And basically the three missions before the final bank heist mission are you getting people for like the crew, right? So the first one is you need a safe cracker. And Cam Jones is the best one in town, but he's stuck inside the Vice City police station. So you have to prove that you're super epic um, and bust him out so he'll work for you. The issue is that uh, <laughs> when you bust him out, the police are not very happy with you, and uh, you get four stars, and oh boy, let me tell you, four star wanted level is ridiculous in this game. Indeed. Um, usually, if you were to do this, you can do like lots of different strats, like glitching cars to make sure that not many police spawn and things like that, but in these routes, you can't do any of that stuff. You just have to tank the four stars. And yeah, like your chances of death are probably the highest of any point in the run. Because um, yeah, four stars is just crazy. You're on a yeah, motorbike, and... so one hit and you just go flying. Uh, there's spike strips, there's huge enforcers, there's SWAT guys, there's police, there's uh, the Miami Vice guys that spawn in cheaters. Like, it's just crazy. Ooh. And you could just you see. You see, like, the roadblocks, they, they spawn, like. <laughs> And sometimes you don't even have a chance to react to them because they spawn that close to you. Yeah. Yeah. Like, there are a couple of things that you can do in order to make it less awful. Uh, replays help a lot because you can despawn the blockades, uh, like the little barriers that the police put forward. And also, if a police officer is throwing a spike strip and you play a replay, you can cancel his animation. Uh, but that also bugs out the spike strip, which again can cause issues with crashing the game later on. So yeah, it's it's all a toss up, really. <laughs> that guy's <It's>, uh... stuck. <laughs> but yeah, pretty. But very good. well played by Marushko. Calm and collected. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> so now I'm gonna finish this mission. And I'm gonna make note or whatever it's called of the time. So. 1737 is when I finished this mission. And exactly 20 seconds from now, the phone call is gonna ring. So, oh, it's a strat. Yeah, at 57, a call is gonna ring. So I want to come here, do this, and at 57, I'm gonna buy the asset. And what that does is you can see a call just came in, 
But I'm actually on mission zero because of this cutscene where uh, I buy the asset. So I have an on mission zero call. I'm gonna take this package. I'm already here. And uh, <laughs> have a gun to get rid of that. And now I'm gonna start a race. So race four is the one that I want to start. And before I do anything, before I let go of this call, I'm gonna come right here. And I'm gonna save a save an F1 replay. So what an F1 replay is gonna do here is you'll see. Basically, I have two replays now at my uh, disposal: an F1 replay and an F3 one. The F1 is gonna expire pretty soon. So what I want to do is just get out of Little Havana and trigger the save warp. <laughs> Lots of things to explain here in this little <laughs> section yeah. of the run. But yeah, anyway, so pick up the package there. And now I I don't have this F1 replay anymore, but I it's done its job. So what I did was I picked up the save icon through the replay. And I buffered the save warp. So anytime you pick up a save icon, you open the menu. You know that. And basically, since I've picked it up, but I'm not in the same city zone, neighborhood, whatever you want to call it, it's not gonna open the menu unless I get back to it, you know? So you'll see once I get back in Little Havana, I'm gonna warp to SSA. But for yeah, now, the, the save icons don't spawn in until you're in the uh, the same district or the same area. Yeah. For now, I'm just gonna dick around here in the airport. And the reason I want to have like an F3 replay instead of um, that I want my current F3 replay is because it's a close replay, and I'm gonna do a bunch of stunt jumps here, and my bike is gonna get very damaged, so it might explode if I don't have close. Yeah, so these trucks here are, are just fixed spawns um, and if you're stood at the right distance you can actually like respawn um, a fixed spawn as many times as you like. So for any rampages that involve destroying vehicles you can just stand at a certain distance from a fixed spawn, shoot it to blow it up and then respawn it with your camera and just rinse and repeat. And it's very useful especially for the ones in the airport like this because Usually there aren't that many cars around, so trying to like destroy all the cars on the street and then having to despawn them and stuff is a huge pain. So just doing that is a really consistent way to complete these rampages. Yep. I, I suppose um, I can speak about like F1 replays a bit more. So sure. the way replays work is you have three buttons, F1, F2, F3 on your keyboard. F1 plays the last like 30 seconds ish. It's it's not a fixed amount. It depends on a couple of things, but let's just say 30 seconds uh, back of what just happened. So it's literally like an instant replay feature. Uh, F2 saves whatever is in that F1 buffer to like a saved slot, and then F3 replays that saved replay, and that's what you're seeing a lot when we're making replays. Basically, we're using F2 to save them and then we're replaying them back with F3. But what you can do is you can manipulate when that th that 30 seconds that we talked about before on the F F1 slot begins recording. So if you are like, let's say just stood and then you move a little bit and then you press F3 to, to play back that save replay that you've got, it actually starts the F1 recording from then. So what you can do is you can basically have like a second replay, as Marushka said before, by like setting up a certain action that you want to do, pressing F3, and then doing the action. And then as long as you press F1 again within about 30 seconds or so, the F1 replay will start there at whatever action you've done. Let's say pick up a save icon or something like that. And that's what Marushka did earlier. So you can basically make a replay, quote unquote, like usually would, but while keeping your F3 replay with whatever you had before. So, in this case, uh, Marushko has a saved replay the whole time, but instead of overwriting it, uh, sorry, he has a closed replay the whole time, but instead of overwriting it with the save replay, he buffers the um, save replay like completely separately and still has his closed replay the whole time. It's uh, it's extremely useful. It's, it's very complicated to explain, 
unless you like know how replays work in the game, which not many casual people do because it's a very niche mechanic. But yeah, like having double replays can really make you overpowered in a lot of places. It's very useful. And especially since most people remember playing this on the console and replays are obviously a PC exclusive feature, so not many people even know about this. Yeah. Or might remember it. Yeah, so it was used back then, uh, just before, as Marushko said before. Um, so as soon as he was finished with the airport stuff, he went into like a certain distance, uh, which puts him in like the correct district. And then he teleported back without ever needing to like make a proper replay and lose his close replay. Um, so he was able to teleport back to SSA and uh, like continue on with his day basically without needing to drive all the way back from the airport, which is zoom zoom. Yeah. And now, if you even remember, I started race four. Yeah, I was about to say. <laughs> yeah, while being on mission zero, I'm still those, not going. Those guys anywhere. are like dead, yeah. waiting for the for the participants to all get there. <laughs> He's coming, surely. Yeah. But yeah, um, because it's very convenient to like just do a couple of uh, rampages on the way, and I'm gonna need the on mission zero call for. Can you stop clipping? <laughs> the ground please uh, anyway and uh, because it's very convenient I just do a lot of rampages here this one is in particular is a rampage where you have to run over people it's usually not that bad but it's still much much better if you can just use nades I didn't know you could do this one as well with nades yeah you don't even have to set it up you just Walk in and, and pick you, it up. You can use yeah. explosions for all of them, right? I don't think any of them. Yeah, I think. Yeah. Do. yeah. Much everyone. But like runovers were tied to like actual vehicle is interesting. I mean, so like all the rampages are tied to a certain thing, but for some reason explosions are just the exception. Like it's always mm. we force you to do this thing, but also explosions work, <laughs> and that applies to all of them, to my knowledge. Uh, so it also works like if you blow up like a car next to them it'll also count i think yeah things like that like any form of explosion works what's funny is for the uh, run over rampage you can also use the helicopter blades to run them <laughs> yeah. Over with. oh yeah yeah i'm not sure how that works is it just like checking for collision like oh, no. vehicle collision therefore it works i don't know i've never really looked into that how that i always works. thought it was just like kills while you're inside a vehicle yeah that, that could also be it yeah. And I guess, like, forbidding drive-bys, because technically yeah, that would be no weapons. in the vehicle. Yeah. What I just yeah, I did... Uh, yeah, sorry. I just wanted to say, what I did there with that little circle around was that I despawned all of the pedestrians that were in the area so that I can have uh, only gang spawns for my rampage. And, Very smart. Yeah. This is a little... Are you, you don't want to blow the yeah. car so. I'm just gonna take the L. <laughs> from here. Yeah, there's, a, there's a number of issues with it. Um, if you attack the the people um, that are like at the starting line, it actually can start the race prematurely before he wants to. As you can see there, that's <laughs> usually how you would trigger them. So you don't have to like sit in the 3, 2, 1, go a uh, little bit. Um, but also, if you... I think if you blow them up, you fail the race, right? No, like before I... Before you actually start? You can done. you can blow them up and have them gone forever, but it's not 100% consistent, so I, that's okay. why I didn't want to do it now, but I would do it normally. What do you mean by it's not consistent? Like, do you sometimes fail? Do you no, you don't, you don't You don't fail, You just, sometimes they respawn, sometimes they don't. Oh, uh, okay. But basically what you do is you throw two nades back to back really quickly, using that actually, that uh, glitch. That messes up the animation that I did earlier. Yeah. You use that to throw two nades quickly, and and yeah, you blow them up. And I don't know what causes them to these respawn, but sometimes they respawn. Boy, well, so what happens if you just regularly throw a grenade at them and blow them up? Do you fail? I think they don't explode, or like. Oh, are they like explosion proof or something. 
They do explode, but not all of them. Do is just to like make sure. Okay, makes sense. Anyways, make a save replay over uh, Malibu, and I hold this call because the next glitch that's coming up is the demolition man in this pass. So finish up this race right here. I'm gonna start for Iron. Let go of the call. I don't have to hold it. Yeah, and there's a USJ and a package right here, so I'm gonna do it real quick. Parking. Hello. Possible package, by the way. Probably one of the most well-hidden packages in the game, because uh. And USJ as well, because you wouldn't really think to like accidentally come up here. Yeah, but you have to explore, that's the beauty yeah. of view game. Because some of them are just like in plain sight, right? Like you could find them accidentally. But yeah, well, this one you... you like really have to go out of your way. You can only hide a hundred packages so so easily or so well. Yeah, true. <laughs> also fun fact, uh, this package and USJ, uh Marushko missed it in his PB and had to go go back. Are you Drive of fucking shame. joking? Oh, I'm a god. No, I, I'm serious. He really did miss it. <laughs> it you. was hilarious. Fuck you. So I'm going to do this rampage. Immediately I get a cop. No bueno. I'm going to bump into him so he doesn't bust me. I'm going to come here so they respawn. Respawns. Put my camera one more time just in case, you know. Get that, and I'm gonna get cocky and actually finish it at the marker. I don't want to trigger the marker because I'm gonna lose my nades, and I'm not gonna be able to finish the rampage that way. There we go. So I should have actually canceled that call. I'm gonna wait for it and whatever. Yeah, that so, cutscene actually like overwrites your weapon to fists, I think, right? Yeah. So if you're on a rampage and you enter that, it just takes away your weapon, sets you to fists, and then you're screwed because you can't switch back to the nades or your weapon or anything like that. So you just have no weapon to complete the rampage. And while I'm waiting for the call, I set up the snipe to pass the mission really quickly, and I hold the call. Actually, let's park this here. Definitely one of the coolest strats in the game, that snipe. Yeah, for sure. You and just, uh, you enter the marker to spawn the guy in, and then usually you're intended to um, go onto the golf course and, you know, fight him and his guards, but you can just snipe him from all the way outside with a really cool lineup. Yep. I should have saved my game, probably, but surely I won't fail. This is free. <laughs> Fine. Uh, yeah, so... What I did there was... With that phone call that I was holding, I started the shootest, answered the call, cancelled the call by getting in the vehicle, aka the PCJ, and then I, um, <clears throat> I just Fire started the mission again. again. Yeah, sorry, I was just thinking about if I had to do that robbery there, but I'm gonna do it later. What I am gonna do is this USJ here. And this is all uh, set up for what is the first insta pass of the run. So, insta passes are like the most broken thing, um, and basically they're exactly what they say on the tin. They allow you to instantly pass a mission. Um, so, obviously, in a hundred percent, you can't really skip any missions because you need to complete everything that awards percentage. So you can't just skip missions. Um, but insta passes are like a form of skipping missions that still give you all the rewards for completing them, as though you completed them. So, um, I'm not going to get into the specifics of how Instapasses work, because it's more code monkey nonsense that no one really cares about. And all the people that do know, or, uh, uh, sorry, the, the people that <laughs> do care already know how it works, so problem solved. Um, but basically, um, you have two missions, uh, Mission A and Mission B. You start Mission A, either by like duping it or whatever in this case, and then you set that mission to like a really specific state, it's all predetermined. 
and then you start mission B. And if all the stars align, then you will start mission B and then instantly complete mission B at the same time. Uh, so in this case, it's going to be the shootist, and he's going to start Demolition Man, which is mission B in this case, um, during a really specific state of the shootist when you're in between rounds two and three. And usually that wouldn't be possible because if you just left during rounds two, between rounds two and three, um, you would actually fail the mission for like leaving the ammunition. Um, but thankfully, if you're on mission zero and you die, you can teleport out of the um, ammunition, but you skip the trigger of leaving the ammunition because the game thinks that you're still inside it. And also, obviously you would usually think, well, dying is not good because you'll fail the mission, right? It's no bueno. But if you die on mission zero, the mission script actually still runs, so you don't fail it. Um, so Mershka is going to do like a dedicated setup uh, later on to make sure that his phone doesn't ring when he dies. Because if his phone is ringing and he dies, then he'll be on mission one. Because while your phone is ringing, you're on mission one. And that would cause the mission to fail. Uh, but for now, he's just completing um, the mission the normal way. Because you still have to complete the mission at some point. So he completes the first instance of the mission. There's currently two instances running. He completes the first instance just by, you know, doing it as normal. Walks back into the marker and Phil Cassidy is like, yeah, good job. You, so, you want to do me shot a lot of things. Congratulations. But then you'll see that as soon as he finishes the mission, there's going to be a marker. And that marker is to um, go into the next segment of the second instance of the mission. So that's it there. And it's restarting the shooting range tutorial. So, because we're not going to actually complete this second instance of the shootist, you don't need to get any points. So, Maru's going to can just instantly cancel out. And he's going to shoot Phil and the other guy in the shooting range once each to get a wanted level. He's going to throw a grenade to damage himself. What the and fuck? also... Uh, that's what interesting. The... What the hell? <laughs> I've never seen that before. <laughs> yeah, he's going to throw a grenade to uh... damage himself. Uh, yeah. what, the... <laughs> what the hell? The what is going on? <laughs> I have yeah, never yeah. seen that before in my life. Okay, uh, so what okay. was supposed to happen uh, was he was supposed to um, <laughs> damage himself with the grenade and then um, throw another grenade in between rounds two and three. Um, and also the grenade is like a crime. Like throwing grenade is a crime. Uh, so it would extend his wanted level, so then his phone wouldn't ring when he dies, and then he would go and start Demolition Man. Are you trying to find a save? I'm trying to find a replay over how many condos so I can warp out of here. Do you want me to like go and make you one? <laughs> yeah, if you can, I don't think I have one. I can, hold on, let me boot the game up. Think of anything else I can use? Maybe a close replay. That would cancel my call. I mean, the call is going to stop ringing at some point, right? Uh, yeah, probably. Uh, <laughs> do I have any saves? Yeah, I have saves. I'm on my way! <laughs> Are you kidding uh, me, man? Cheat. What is this shit? Get there fast. Yeah, get there very fast, man. I'm, I'm, there's also, did you know there's also get there extremely fast, which is like a hot ring racer? But is, I, is my sausage a... fingers... <laughs> Uh, can't type it quick enough. So. Uh, I thought it was get there very fast. Jeez. There's three, I think. There's get there fast, get there very fast, and then get there extremely fast, I think. Wow, I'll get there very Have fast everyone. indeed. Oh, get, get there, there very fast indeed. Nice. Indeed. Uh, what happened? Uh, Marushko got stuck in like a weird state where he's like falling infinitely in the shooting range. So we're going to try and bail him out. <laughs> I'm driving to the Hyman Condo to get him a replay. I'm actually going to try the close replay first, just in case. Because I, sure? I think, I mean, you you still do that replay, but yeah, if, I'm, if I'm, I'm still like falling, I probably can't warp. Oh yeah, you might not be able to save warp out if you're falling, yeah. Let's just do the, let's first try the close. So, I'm going to do a little, some more cheating. <laughs> The Omniscient Zero Changer.
I just don't take damage. That's very weird. Alright, I've got Sorry. a replay for you. I can't take it anymore. <laughs> yeah, I probably will have to do that, but let's try the replay. I want to see if I can work back. So once this call ends, he should get up, and that's when I'm gonna try to warp to the thing. Alright, send me the replay. I'm sending it to you now. Yeah. Send it here. It's officially a co-op run now. Poggers. First ever co-op run. <laughs> we should upload this. Yeah, dude. Kagger extensions. Can I move? No. I can't take it anymore. Can't even type. Oh, I can't die, bro! Oh, that didn't <laughs> work either. Oh, god. Fuck. <laughs> well, I'm... Do you fucked. have a save? I guess... No, not this route. Because you didn't make one during the... The one time you don't make one during the run. It's because I, I didn't make one because I was holding the call, but I could have just answered it and then saved. It didn't yeah. pass my mind. Let me see if I can find my... Undo. I was going to say, like, I, I do have saves, but they won't have the same, like, collectibles and stuff. In the meantime, we have uh, twenty-five dollars from Anonymous, and they say this has never happened before. Indeed, True, I I've never seen this before in my life. It's very interesting. Always in marathons, right? That's how it works. It's like the fucking Martha's mugshot as well. Yeah, yeah I should probably be yourself. nice and pause the timer as well. <laughs> <laughs> nah, keep rather running, than just playing it around. That's kind of toxic. What's the estimate? Four thirty. Should be Which is uh, <laughs> yeah, I... it's uh it's nah four thirty is dead bro. <laughs> it's a yeah, it's, it's a tricky estimate. With this <laughs> shit, four thirty is dead. Yeah, he he's already tried to cheat to die. It didn't do anything. December twenty one, dude. It's my safe. <laughs> <laughs> Last time I played. <laughs> <laughs> it should be around the time I made this route, but I'm trying to find. Something more. Yeah, guys, new roads. Uh, 213 raiders from Ham has joined. Thank you very much, Ham. Welcome uh, to. Marushko is currently stuck in a falling animation and he's trying to get out, so please <laughs> bear with us. This has literally never happened before. Ah, yeah. bro, I don't have any stupid ass saves for this mission. I guess you could use one one of the no collectibles ones, but that's kind of no. It's for this route. I mean, uh, I, mean I have a save for demolition man and stuff, but it's from the old route. I don't know. Like there must be a way to get you unstuck. Surely there has to be. I mean, anyone know? <laughs> there has to be something. What if you? Take the phone call and just do no demolition normally. Just try to take the phone call and maybe he will stand up. Uh, let me just get back that replay. Close replay so I can stand up. No, no, no. Or, yeah. No, no, no. Or, yeah. I can't hmm. answer it because he's stuck. I'm pressing the answer. Okay. Yeah. What if I. Oh. No, I can't. Uh. Save and load the crash. Try say yeah, saving anyway, maybe just you know. <laughs> this is so so Where weird. Where am I though? You're at Hyman Kondo. You're at Hyman Kondo. You're just in interior mode. Alright, Tommy. Try getting one flip and maybe a cop car will come close and you can press F, I don't know. How are you going to get a wanted level though? Uh, what is the code? Uh, oh, it's a... Uh, what is it? You won't you take won't, me alive? Yeah, it's you won't right. take my alive. You won't take my alive. I don't think any cops are coming around though. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if they'll even come to you because the game thinks you're in the ammunition still. Do it's... more source. Yeah, there you But I can see like shit spawning there, so... 
Yeah. Yeah, just keep looking that way. But I mean, like, I'm not even convinced the game thinks that Tommy is there to, like, be able to spawn cops near him, you know? Yeah, he has all the traits of a human being. Yeah. <laughs> He's just not... There, man! Let me out of this shit! <laughs> Alright, All right, well, um, let's try... Do I seriously not have any saves like this, man? Do I seriously not have any saves? What's the last mission that I did? Or what's the, the closest close mission? That. Before Iron, then the race... And then Driver. before the race, it was oh, the all hands on deck. Hmm. <laughs> you know, worth a try. <laughs> <laughs> Just in case. <laughs> had to make sure. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna... Um, what's the closest? I think it's smart as much, I know. No. A lot is... I've done a lot during Martha's much show. Let's see what this one is. I'm basically overriding every single save of mine. Here just to like check. Just to see is. which ones you've got. Yeah. This one is pretty... Is this... This one's like after Pizza Boy and everything. Let me so... see, what is this? 2-bit hit. This one is the closest one because after... Like Demolition Man you do 2-bit hit and then you do... This. And then you, you do, do pizza, pizza boy. boy, yeah. And then you do pizza boy, and then you do this. So I don't yeah, know. Just, just go. Should yeah, I? just go. Screw it. Let's yeah. go this. All right. Um. Oh. So all that you oh. need to know is that <laughs> he insta passed demolition man, and then uh, he insta passed pizza boy, which is one of the many odd job insta passes. As you can see, he's got 150 health. Yeah. Uh, the way you do that, God, how do you fucking do that? You you start love juice. And then you start spilling the beans, and then you take the taxi, and then you death warp, and then you start Pizza Boy. That's all you need to do. It's very easy, trust me. Really, really simple. <laughs> yeah, really simple. Yeah. Yeah, just do that. <laughs> Fuck me. Are you kidding me? Timer? Oh, yeah, true. You can oh, damn, now this run is going to be inaccurately timed. <laughs> no! <laughs> Get ready for no. the world record, guys. Yeah. I didn't skip that much, to be fair. Yeah, it's okay, it's okay, just two. Probably like, what, five minutes? Yeah. In five hours? That's not really a lot in the grand scheme of More like ten minutes, but yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's I'll just, let you off. It's just annoying that, because the setup that I use for a pizza boy is actually really cool. I wanted to show it. Oh. It's okay. I have a lot of other cool setups coming your way. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say, I'll just show it after, but you haven't got a fucking save. <laughs> yeah. But look, luck is already on my side. I get a PCJ here. Epic. Huge. So, yeah, you have to kill the other rival taxi driver. And you collect the VIP. So this is the taxi company, by the way. I use that to uh, buy warp after finishing Pizza Boy. You, you might have missed it. It was really quick. Yeah. yeah. But um anyways, so what I've done so far is Demolition Man, Pizza Boy, and Two Bit Hit. Those are the only three things that you haven't seen me do. Oh and uh RC Bandit race as well. Yeah. Um, yeah. The the RC Bandit race is used to cancel the leftover instance of Pizza Boy and not crash your game. Yeah. So let's see if I know where this rampage is, because I fell off my bike and the call rang. I'm pretty sure it's Ooh. like here, right? I always just make a giga replay here. It's like 14 seconds of walking about. Ugh. Yeah, I'm very uh, famous for doing that as well. <laughs> Surely I pick it up. Yeah, this is the uh, minigun uh, rampage where you get to blow up vehicles in the army base. Yeah, and you actually do it with off. I'm still holding the call. Also, maybe some packages are kind of missed out. I hope not, but 
you know, if they are, then that's because of the save. But I haven't changed any packages, so these saves should be very much up to date. Yeah. Unless this is the first package. Okay, but it's the 24th, <laughs> which is not good. I think. Uh oh. I don't know. I don't think it's supposed to be the 24th. No, it's supposed to be the 50th. Well, you know, <laughs> we're gonna do a quick uh, all packages run as well later on. I'm assuming the rampages are also not fully done, but <laughs> you wouldn't know anyway, so fuck that. Okay. Yeah, it's in Japanese anyway, so... Can't tell. But the packages thing is actually pretty fucked up! Because I need packages for the minigun later. You get yeah, rewards is. for every 10th package. Yeah, you spawn. need to get at least 60 to be able to use the minigun the first strats later. So I think I'm gonna do the little uh, package run earlier than expected. Maybe Leo's already dead. Maybe I killed Leo and took his phone. What do we want to use it for? Minigun. Just like everything. You know. Yeah, just use it to like blast your way through the late game, basically. And before Stadium isn't done. No, Stadium's been done early for like years at this point. Surely not. Yeah, Stadium's been done. Yeah. Um, anyway. It's like three years ago, early Stadium started being a thing. There's a new thing I discovered here on these packages. It's if you stay on the uh, outer side of the army base, supposedly the army guys shouldn't spawn. Oh yeah, that's a placebo and delusion. <laughs> Supposedly. Yeah. So let's let's beat this out. So I stop <laughs> here. See no obviously I enter now, so they're gonna start spawning now. Ooh Hide behind the palms. <laughs> yep, no spawns, just but, like that. Yep. But it's because I entered when I pick up the packages. Before that you could see there are no spawns. So I'm hundred percent sure. That that's how it works, so... You either take my word for it, or Eban's. Who are you gonna take? <laughs> <laughs> Just have some code monkey confirm where the district ends and where army base Take my word, or you're banned from the chat. <laughs> Fuck. Okay, so, here... It's a, a good time to start... Let's see if I got it. Woo! Easy. Uh, anyways, we start to blow up cars. Shoot those bikers for no reason. Yeah, this is the only fucking part that I hate a lot. Are you joking? You have to do this rampage casually. Whereas you would do it with firefighter normally. But there's a little thing that helps a little bit. And that's if you finish the mission, you kill the rampage spawns, so like the bikers. And basically the bikers kind of like take up a lot of memory. So you can see after I finished the mission, a lot more cars started spawning out. And yeah, so despawning with cars works the same way. Um, like if you blow up a lot of cars in close proximity to you, all the corpses will still be taking up memory, so you need to sort of drive away and despawn them before new ones will explode. Uh, de spawn in even. I said explode because there was a double explosion there, and I was like, nice. <laughs> yeah, yeah double sometimes explosions if you, are fine for this. Actually, yeah, if you if you set cars on fire, is it while the driver's getting out of the car or something yeah. like that? Yeah, if you um, kill the it driver, it can cause the vehicle to like. Yeah, if you kill the driver when they're getting out. Uh, it can it can cause the vehicle to like explode and then also be on fire so it explodes again and it actually counts twice for the rampage which is really nice uh, really uh, yeah. you know what I'm gonna do like the epic gamer that I am I'm gonna start collecting some packages here fuck this shit <laughs> <laughs> the first package here is done I'm just gonna do like the old packages route the downtown. 
the pause the timer for a bit. So you no, you don't have it. to pause it. It's fine. I'll pause it if I want to pause it. All right, it's my oh, timer. Man. All right, man, relax. It's my so birthday, it's and I'll cry if I want to. <laughs> you hear that, mom? <laughs> this one is not taken even in the regular uh, run yet. So I'm just gonna probably like it. late game packages just for the sake of it. <laughs> It's taken a little later, not that much later, but let's see this one, hopefully this one, oh let's, wait how do you look down? Go first person then. There we go. Q&A. Yeah, Q &A. <laughs> okay, so if that one's taken, then this one, the other one at the stadium would be taken. Let's take this one as well. Oh, you'd think that, but. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not going all, all the way there, man. Too much. I think on the airport, a lot of them are skipped, so maybe a good shot to go there. Do you really trust 2021 Marushka? I don't trust myself. I don't trust 2022 Marushka. <laughs> why, why does this have to happen to me, guys? Why am I still getting hit? <laughs> 30. That's a throwback. <laughs> so you have to have 60 for the minigun? Yeah, 60. Oh, man. I am literally taking late game packages. Holy shit. What the fuck? Why is this one taken? Oh, yeah. That's where. <laughs> yeah, I think the ones on the airport are not taken. That's... I'd probably check the other island, too. Like, early on, you take most of the east island packages rather than the west. True that. But since I'm already here, let's keep this out. Yeah, for go, also go army show. package again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let me show you guys. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let's see if this one, if this package is not here. Yeah, so basically all the airport packages. Okay, let's do a quick little airport package speed run. So. Where are they? There's one on top of the whatever this is. There's one on top of the plane. One at the end of the loose ends mission on the helipad. You one take, behind the fire station. You take one this under one the much plane. later, actually. It's funny. Yeah. Actually, you take most of these much later. Wait, what's going on? <laughs> I can just imagine. Yeah, don't you say like these is like the last like ninety like ninety second and ninety third and shit like that? Yeah, but this one for sure you have to take it now. Then the one behind that. Yeah, it's the fire station one. I'm just gonna do a quick little check. If you don't mind me. This fucking Honda run has been such a disaster. So I should be at fucking 53. Are you kidding me? You could also just use uh, Ethan's tool thing to just check what pack it is you're missing on this side. Yeah, at this point, might as well. Yeah. True. But it's fine. I'm just gonna. 34. So I just need to get to like 56. That's it. <laughs> just. It's like 20 <laughs> packages. It's quite a lot. 35. You know, I'm just gonna pick up all the. Uh... I don't wanna pick up the ones that I'm gonna pick up later. You already did, so whatever. Yeah, you know what? Make this quicker. Make the pain go away. People are Pick gonna up come. everything, yeah, and just don't worry about packages anymore. Yeah, people are gonna come in uh, the stream and think that I'm doing late game already. I'm like, yeah, this guy's <laughs> fucking on pace. Yeah. <laughs> Sub three pace. <laughs> He's on pace to beat the world record in 30 years in advance. <laughs> 38. Shoutouts to my all packages PV where I choked my dick off. Um, yeah, it's like second to last package and you yeah. fucked it. It's a cool emoji. Seems like a reoccurring pattern. Does it now? Needless to say, it does. <laughs> so that's 40. <laughs> God damn it. Need like 15 more. Alright, we, we go on bald. <laughs> Ah, uh, just pick it up, man. Maybe I just got cycle on every single package. Well, 
practicing. Oh, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> and you didn't notice any of them. <laughs> My flying is good though, damn. This ship is also present it. in GTA 3. Oh yeah. yeah. What's the name of the mission again? <laughs> bomb the base. Oh, bomb the base. Yeah. Advanced landing here, by the way. Yeah, show me this strat here. Land like this. Who found it? Me. Did it? Was it me? I don't know. Probably you. <laughs> if you're asking, is was it you? Yeah, it was my only contribution to packages. Nah, you did more just, than that. Just why don't you park on the ship, you dummy? <laughs> yeah, always has to insult me before anything. Yeah, it's, no. it's not just oh, why don't you try this? It's also it's always <laughs> you dumb sack of shit. Why <laughs> don't you do this? <laughs> You worthless garbage animal, <laughs> you fucking moron. Subhuman garbage. Okay, this one's picked up, so all the other ones are also picked up. What the fuck then? Uh golf club? Um, Martus mark shot? No, I haven't done Martus yet. The one here I obviously haven't picked up. Probably haven't done the rampage either. Wanna bet? I don't. Wanna bet? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> I already wasted yeah, I'm not risking that. I wasted a lot of time, man. Fuck me, where are the other packages? Uh, it's on the pier, way? at the beach. Uh, waste a wife once on the rooftops lighthouse I think everything up until hmm, everything up until like r race 4 I think I've done uh, give me your safe real quick and I'll check while you're flying on Ethan's map I mean he he's collected so many since he saved it's no, not but really he doesn't help. He don't remember which ones he got and which ones he doesn't like. And he has to double check oh, okay. every switch which position. One is my safe. Yeah. Here you go, buddy. Go wild. I'm just gonna go and continue the mission while Rock saves my ass. Surely clueless. He, Surely. Will, he will save me. Okay, how do you do this? <laughs> oh my god, you nah. could have sent it to me. It's gone. <laughs> Let's do it. No, I got it, I got it, I got it. Pick up one more just for good measure. Right here. 50, so I need like 7 more. Just, like, show me 7 packages that I haven't picked up that are nearby. Okay. What replay Silence. do I have? I'm, I'm figuring uh, it out. Yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know, he's figuring There should be a bike <laughs> <do> somewhere <laughs> here. How do we import the safe? Oh Bro. my god, just drag it onto the thing. That's what I did, it doesn't do anything. Oh my god, yeah. send it to me, I'll do it. Yeah, yeah, I'll send it. <laughs> it just shows three packages when I check on collected. Bugged. Or you've sent the wrong, I don't know. Fuck you, man. You're bugged. That is legit such a waste of Discord bandwidth. <laughs> Okay, so back to missions. Paul, trigger this guy. He comes in. I got what you need. Stops talking. I come here. And I actually have to get ahead of him because I don't have a gun. There we go. 
XD. I don't have an Uzi to fuck him up with. So anyway, get back my money. Do you want me to just like give you package locations that you that are not on this save, like in the area that you're at now? If you remember, like you haven't collected, you, you haven't collected any of the prawn now in packages. All five are still there. Even the one on Phenomena. Yeah. What? Yeah, all five are still there. Well, I already. Pissed it. Yeah, I'll take it. I'll take them on Mars as much. Um, the the two in the mall you haven't collected. Um, the one on like you know the far eastern building that you collect. Um, while you're doing like the M4 rampage and the Python rampage and stuff. Right. Okay. Uh, yeah, Mercedes's house. I think so. If we take into account all the packages on Martha's, this one and then like two more. I'm gonna have enough for the time when I need the minigun. Alright, I'll restart the timer then. Congrats, now you saved like 20 minutes. Where the fuck <laughs> is she going, bro? Hello? <laughs> just, I know this meme. She's just having fun. Yeah. <laughs> um, I have to do this robbery, by the way. Let's do it like this. Safe strats. I've already taken enough else. No more. <laughs> I'm scarred for life, PTSD, and all that. Also, I should have made a replay here. Good thing you drive back the same way. Did I make a replay over Film Studios? I'm gonna buy that later. And just gonna finish the mission now. If anyone's curious how I just basically cheated and checked Marushka's save, uh, if you follow the link in the chat, it goes to EH Games, which is a community's members website. And you can just drag a save onto any of the map lists and it'll tell you what uh, collectibles you're missing. Which is very useful. Indeed. For times like these. Come on, bro. So. Come on, bro. Ooh. Yeah. Mental reset. I'm gonna take this package here. I'm just gonna fucking pretend like this is part of the route. You know what? You know, this is a new route, so take this package here instead of Phenom Pen. Fuck it. Like that. And then we continue on with the mission. Little jump over a car. Epic. Jump into the water. Even more epic. This is where I would take the monument package as well. Uh, I took it. Uh, monument? Who calls it that? <laughs> this one, man. It's a candy sock. It's a monument. What do you call it? Candy socks? Package. It's a monument. Take it before candy socks. Or after. After, after. I guess. Looking for movie talent. No, before. Whatever. If you trigger the marker and you have a, your vehicle that you came with nearby, it actually spawns right over there. So that's why I jumped off. And it's still standing still over there. So, hit that guy in the head. He takes a little time to die. Your candy. It's a piece of shit. That guy's. <laughs> look at this. Look at this dude. <laughs> He's just walking around, whipping out that thing. And uh, now, if the save does not have cancer, which it does, <laughs> I would have taken the cough car that I saved earlier, that I got busted for. <laughs> but hey, we have uh, backup strats, don't we? Yep. The backup strat. Please don't kill Candy. I'm 
I might kill myself. <laughs> the fuck out my way, bro. What is going on with this run? <laughs> and the cracks begin to show. Oh, they were showing a Again? lot. Again? <laughs> They've been like wrinkling for hours. Well, if I am lucky, which I'm not, <laughs> Candy is not gonna die here. Please, God. I just wanted to showcase the, the thing, man. Please cooperate. Woman, please. Pick up candy first. I can't leave her here. I have to. Where are you going? Hey. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna use these people. Come on. Pick up the close icon. Yeah. Nah, I think I'm just gonna get all of my uh, tire spots. Stop fucking waiting! <laughs> Get in! Yeah, All my tires are popped, bro. Because uh, Candy is gone. Okay, I'm taking. Yeah, Candy and Mercedes' <laughs> AI is uh, not the best. The pathfinding is pretty questionable. Oh yeah. <laughs> Omar, where is Mercedes? Oh, I left both of them. Yeah, I'm savage. Why is she still standing in the ground? <laughs> <laughs> Stop! <laughs> Why is she still laying on the floor? <laughs> Oh my god, please. Look at her, she's just walking. Fucking taunting me. I do not call it this driving. So I wanted a fucking FBI Washington. Because it has a special feature, it has vigilante. And I'm gonna use that vigilante later for an insta pass. But first I have to get there. Very fast indeed. Um. As you can see, it has sirens. It's pretty fast, faster than a normal Washington. And it's... Mm. I don't know. Yeah, you do. Maybe acceleration, but not top speed. And handling, even though you can't see right now. <gasps> <laughs> I forgot to make the close replay. I should have made a close replay. Maybe later, babe. This is falling apart by the minute. Can we... Let me get a grip. Yeah, come on, guys. We need to get a grip. That includes all of you. <laughs> yeah, get it together, boys. Come on. And girls. Okay, re enter this so it doesn't need spawn. And. Time for a relaxing mission where nothing can go wrong. <laughs> I need this. I needed this. Hold on, famous last words. I needed this. Nah, if you fail this, you should just stop speedrunning for the rest of your life. Yeah, that's what the quarry did. Yep. That's what I'm gonna do now. Time we have uh, yes, three dollars from Hoxie. Thank you. Uh, saying this is the GTA content worth donating for. I actually agree. <laughs> and that puts us over two hundred and fifty dollars. What an effort. Already, which is crazy. Milestone. Um, I, I set the goal to a thousand dollars total because you know that's already a crazy amount. But the fact that we're already a quarter of the way there on the first run is absolutely nuts. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, yo, you're welcome, guys. <laughs> I'm gonna be here all night, anyway. So. Yeah, yeah. We're, we might as well cover the NA time zones as well. Yeah, <laughs> it's just, it's just do another run afterwards. We go it. again. Yeah, the redemption run. Low reset and just. Yeah, you can watch proper speedruns on ESA GTU anytime you want, but only here on GTU you can watch <laughs> this train wreck. <laughs> oh, thank Very you. True. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. Please, say say more. <laughs> Talk about my run. What do you think about it? my route? Man, uh, yeah, I, yeah, I swear to God, I've never seen this happen on the shooters. Like, when <laughs> have you ever seen this happen? Has this happened uh, to no, any one of you? I, 
No, no, no I've seen. never seen it. <laughs> Do you think it's happened any, to any, me? Anyway, guys, get back to more interesting stuff. Uh, so we have a lot of incentives, uh, <laughs> milestones for the event coming up. Um, so there's a, there's a couple of things worth mentioning. Um, the main one is a stretch goal of two and a half thousand uh, dollars, which you know it's a stretch goal for a reason. It's a big one, but uh, the reason it's so big is because there is a big reward if it happens. And that reward is, I'm not shitting you, I will get some kind of community tattoo. I don't know what it is, like, yet, we'll, we'll have to, like, come up with some kind of design. But yeah, if we raised $2,500 uh, during the week of GTU, I will get some kind of symbolized tattoo that basically, you know, symbolizes this community um, and all the work that we've done to save kids' lives. Like... And that would be my first tattoo as well, which would be petrifying. So, yeah. Also, if we get to $1,000, which we absolutely no doubt will, um, our fantastic partners over at Elgato are sponsoring this whole event, Gaming Tuesday. And uh, they actually send me a Stream Deck Mark II. Now, I already have a Stream Deck Mark II because I raised $1,000 last year. So I figured, why not give it away, right? So, we'll do a big giveaway with a Stream Deck Mark II when we get to... I say when, not even if, because, you know, we're gonna hit it at this point, at this rate. Uh, yeah, so we'll we'll give away a Stream Deck Mark II to anyone that wants it, you can enter, which will be awesome. So, yeah, thank you so much to everyone who's continued to support, and uh, everyone who's donated bits and whatnot, and subs. I see you all gifting each other subs, much appreciated, and it all goes towards the total. Um, I'll donate everything I've made from Twitch, I won't take a penny, and it'll all go towards the total right at the very end of the marathon. Anyway, Marushka's route, yeah. What? Well, I mean, it's fine, I guess. What did I do yeah, differently? It's, it's really, really fine, really. Classic Mar Marathon's mark shot. What the yeah. fuck did I do differently, please? <laughs> Remember before we went live and we talked about how Marushko has failed Martha's mugshot every single time he's yes. been in a GTU event? Yes, I think I believe we did talk about that. Yeah. Three events in a row, everyone. I'm out of this bitch. <laughs> <laughs> but actually I need to make a closer play. Cause I want to stick to the route, man. I want to just play the fucking game. Yeah, I'm just going to make a close replay, guys. That's why I failed the mission. <laughs> no. It's because I didn't have a close replay. It's because the game notices, man. Big Brug always watches. <laughs> Where yeah. is you going? Here I am. Why don't you land on the roof? Because I need to... I want to use the thing. I'm going to do this. You still could have landed on the roof. Oh, like the event. <laughs> <laughs> You're a dumbass. Fuck this game, man. Take the one on the roof. I am emotional. <laughs> <laughs> He's delicate. <laughs> oh, Allah. Please. <laughs> please, please, please. They're praying on my downfall, for real. <laughs> Whoever's praying, please, <laughs> keep going. <laughs> I didn't want to sleep anyway. Like, what the voice does one. What do I do, man? Is this shit even gonna stay here now? Just re-enter as if... I don't make a difference. The epic close fade skip. That's what I did this shit. That's that's what you did. You oh, took like a these... two minute detail to save half a second. <laughs> these guys are in Candy's way. I despawn them. I'm gonna go again. Use the rollers on the alley. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll. <laughs> I'll. <laughs> Let's just pick up this package as well, because you pick it up after you finish the mission or just before. I'll save some time. And let's see, let's uh... I wanna stick to the route, by the way. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> 
I'm trying to stick to the route by also going fast. Stick to the plan. Do a front flip. This shit can't even flip. <laughs> I maybe should have no taken the VCN. Actually. <laughs> I should have taken the VCN because how the fuck am I gonna? God damn it! How am I gonna park this shit everywhere where I have to park it? For the package. Yeah, fine. Did you get the package down here? Mm. Oh yeah, the oh, one. Yeah, you you failed the bridge. I failed while you doing the loaded, robbery. Yeah, you loaded the safe or That was that was the package. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, do the robbery here with the camera. Epic, crazy. Proof that it works. I'm and right. I'm gonna Should have went into the, into the visor. I'm thing. not taking that package over there, even though I should, because I'm gonna fail the mission. And I've learned my lesson. I'm not failing Martha's mugshot anymore. <laughs> Hold up. That's what you said last year. And did I fail it last year? Yes. I mean, <laughs> after I said it. <laughs> yes. I don't remember. 57, so I need two more. Now is after. Two more, two more, two more. Think. Hmm. So, what are the ones that I haven't picked up on uh, in downtown? Can you tell me? I mean, I picked uh, up I'll some, look. but, you know, just tell me the ones. Let me have a gun, though, one sec. I use the replay to reload the camera, take the pictures lightning fast, and get the hell out of there. Reload the camera. <laughs> you know, like put the Polaroid. Yeah, it's take it's it out. Funny. Pick up Such an package. American thing to see. Why? <laughs> I'm Bulgarian. <laughs> Where is this stupid ass? Water. Where is the thing, man? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Oh, there it is. There it is. <laughs> this one. Is this one taken? Where's the water? <laughs> what? <laughs> the pool, man. The pool. Oh. Okay, package with a pool at. <laughs> package with yeah. a pool at, indeed. So, I uh, feel... so, the ones in downtown. Um, there's the one near the, the monument, as you say, which you've already got. Uh, it's one of the offices one, yeah. for G Spotlight, which you've got. Um, one, one near the hospital, which you've got. Uh, there's the one near the ramp behind, you know when you did the M60 rampage in the parking lot? In that corner? I picked that one up as well. Uh, Phil's place. Oof, that uh, one's the a little skeleton far. one with like the graves in Little Havana that you usually grab during the races. That one's very far. I mean, that's that's your only option, the rest of Little Havana and further down. The rest of, you've got them all in downtown. Okay, I'm gonna just take the one... Here. In the mall. With and my... outside as well. Behind the building, MSM. Oh, actually, yeah, I'm not even gonna go in the mall, I'm just gonna take the... Yeah, the armors. Yeah. Package or armor at? <laughs> Package or ammo at? We? Oh. Who? What? <laughs> okay. So, 60 packages. Now I have a minigun. Poggers. Stone be peaceful. And just like that. Now, to take my very bruised FBI Cheeto. Washington, whatever. Gepard. Gepard. <laughs> <laughs> All my Russian people now. <laughs> Take my um, Gepard to the film studios. And start Vigilante. 
cancel it so the call doesn't ring. Let's park this a little bit. Save my game! <laughs> because apparently everything can happen. And then start Vigilante. Come on, way, bro. Start on Mission Vigilante, on Mission Zero Vigilante, whatever. Paul's gonna ring. Alright. Charge Spotlight. This for the um, Insta Pass. The Primary Medic Insta Pass, yeah. So, now. Of course, there's a fucking car here, bro. <laughs> and he was angry too. Yeah, of course, he has to be angry. And he can't despawn. Look at that. Doesn't despawn. <laughs> it's just like, damn. So I'm gonna come here in the middle of this bridge. Set this bike on fire. Because I want to die. Like, in the game. <laughs> Death Warp. And that cancels one of the, the instances, but the other one is still running. And I'm gonna take this. Okay, it's lo unlocked. Good. I'm gonna warp to the Hyman Condo. That I made a replay of. Save replay. I'm gonna save real quick. Right here. So that advances the time. Oops. So I have to pick up the minigun that I was picking up packages. Are you kidding me, bro? The the time of day is really important here because if it gets to is it 7 a.m. Uh, the 7 mission fails because there's a. The idea of the mission is that you're supposed to um, do a bunch of jumps to get to a spotlight and like manipulate the spotlight uh, to promote the film studios. You're but obviously night. you can only do that during the night because yeah. otherwise the spotlight isn't going to do anything. Uh, so once it gets to 7am you've run out of time because it's daytime again basically. So you, you do all this death warping and saving the game to skip over 7am because it only checks for 7am. So if you save the game and skip six hours, for example, then it just goes over it, over the check that would usually fail the mission. Yeah, in classic Rockstar fashion, it's not like 7 a.m. or later, it's just 7 a.m. exactly. Just exactly 7 a.m., yeah. Yeah. I guess they never intended for this. Good thing they didn't put the, the thing as a conduct. Yeah. You agreed to play rightfully your game. I should have answered that call, by the way. Why the fuck did I not <clears throat> answer that call, man? How you doing, Mike? It's Paolo again. So I should have answered this call while running to the PCJ. Actually, is this the call that I'm supposed to be answering? I don't think. Uh oh. <laughs> and Paul. Great publicity. Have to answer this. Very rock and roll, baby. Sort this out for me, and I'll get you some backstage passes for the gig. All right. Yeah. So I'll take the PCJ now, and I take it to where I park the ambulance as well, for the setup. <laughs> Just check. Oh my god, man. <laughs> Okay. No, 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 this, it's all good. <laughs> Just like me, play. <laughs> I'm just like a little not sure right now what I'm doing. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna wait for a call. Actually, fuck this. Oh, for shit. Okay, there we go. Thank oh, God. Mommy. Drop the call, get axes in the cutscene. Did I pass it? Yes. Yeah, you would crash otherwise. Oh, excellent. Um, so, 
Yeah. Basically, what he did there was he started paramedic during the G spotlight cutscene where you go into the elevator, and uh, that actually insta passes paramedic. So that skips having to do like half an hour worth of driving and picking up patients and stuff. Um, and you get the full rewards, so now he has infinite sprint as well, which is very nice because having to constantly tap your sprint key for five hours is shit. So just having to hold it is, or being able to hold it is a lot nicer. This trick right here is one of the more, probably the easiest to like understand if you're just a like new what watcher viewer. Yeah. This game is just paramedic. You need to extinguish a certain amount of fires, vehicle fires. Uh, firefighter. Yeah. Uh, yeah, well, a firefighter. <clears throat> and what he's doing is he's just playing a close replay back. And every time you pick up a close icon, there's a little fade out and fade in. And when, whenever a fade out happens, all fires on the entire map get, get extinguished. It's just like a safety measure from Rockstar put in. I assume it's like, for example, when you're like entering a mission, and if there's a vehicle right next to you burning, they just put it like for safety, so it extinguishes, it doesn't kill you while you're entering the mission. I don't. They, I guess they wanted to prevent insta passing and duping. You know, that's why. <laughs> <laughs> But it just happens it's, to extinguish. It's, uh, it's, it's whenever you lose control of Tommy. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah, that failsafe is put in there to make sure that you don't die while you don't have control, because obviously that wouldn't be very fair. So you just spam a few close replays and pretty much fast done. Can I watch this VOD as a reference to learn Hundo? <laughs> 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 uh, wouldn't recommend it. <laughs> you should watch this VOD to learn all the backups. <laughs> Every possible one of them. Yeah, uh, Loshenka, he he soft locked on the shootest and had to like re get a load of packages and he skipped a couple of missions because he didn't have a save for it and yeah, it's not not one to learn from. Uh, who won by the way, Brazil or South Korea? <laughs> I mean, uh, I mean, you know the answer to that. <laughs> is it is it Brazil? Of course it's Brazil. I don't even need to check, and I know Brazil will smash them. What if though, you know? Oh my I god, mean, yeah, I've what if? six fucking UJs. Yeah, Brazil won 4-1, of course they did. Jesus. Rushko, did you watch um, fucking Japan taking penalties earlier? Yeah. Oh my god, what a, what a shootout that was. Yeah, they need to tragic. practice taking penalties. Just like I, don't think I I've need to ever practice. Seen... Yeah, I don't think I've ever seen... A country take four penalties and fucking miss three of them. Well, not miss, <laughs> but you know what I mean. Not yeah. score three of them. That's mud. That's crazy. Of course, there's rain on this mission, so even the fun <laughs> part cannot be fun. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah, yeah. Usually in uh, like all missions, if you've seen those runs, you can actually use a helicopter to just fly over all these checkpoints. But it's not useful in 100% because um, there are actually USJs that you do on this route. Um, are you and, oh, that is that is unlucky. That's fine. Ooh. I mean, it's fine. You can just drive back up. Right next to the... It's not too far. Um, but yeah, so during 100%, if you were to take the helicopter up and do that strategy, then you would have to go back up at some point and do the USJs anyway. So it makes far more sense to just do the mission the intended way. Because you need to do the USJs regardless. Indeed. And it's actually much more fun with the PCJ, but of course, if you don't have rain. We're not about fun here. No. The close replay is super important here as well, because every time you do a jump, you lose um, health on the bike. So it's very easy for your bike to set on fire here. Especially if you end up doing like a couple of the jumps a few times, because you fall off. <laughs> yes, indeed. I didn't really intend that as a dig, but that sounded really <laughs> harsh. But you know what I mean? Like, just, <laughs> if, if you're playing casually, you'll probably fail the jumps a few times. I can actually move. If I can trigger the thing. Ooh. I don't think you can trigger it in Ooh, that cutscene, can you? I don't know. I don't think you can. Code monkeys? 
Yeah, weird thing about this uh, this cutscene when you get the asset buy is uh, you just have control of Tommy. They just stored you away inside of the hangar to the right hand side, uh, and I guess called it a day. Didn't think to take control away from you, so you can just move in this cutscene and do whatever you want, which is really weird. I think it's like the only cutscene that does this. Mm -hmm. Usually they take control away from you, but I guess the intern at Rockstar just forgot when they made this mission. Now they thought surely they won't find the way out of the hangar. <laughs> yeah. No way, it is too no complicated. <laughs> you just have to hold A. <laughs> no, it's a little bit... it's not as straightforward. Yeah. You can get stuck. I would never. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you can also pick up the package that's in the hangar, but I've already picked it up, so... Yeah. And now for, I think, the first chopper checkpoint of the run. Second. Yeah. Wait, I already this did used one? to be the last one that you did. You, you did the, the one near... Or wait, is it the first one? It is the first. I haven't done the one. I, you I don't do is, yeah. beach? No, not yet. Ah, uh, huge round. <laughs> Surely pays off. <laughs> it does, actually. Well, <laughs> in normal circumstances... <laughs> it's because... Always a butt. Yeah, whatever. I can't even defend this shit anymore, I want to just die. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, great My small sample music. size of one, this shit sucks. I just wanted to fucking showcase something different, guys. <laughs> I've thought about this a lot. This route. Maybe next year. Yeah. Really. <laughs> you, know, you know what this does? This motivates me to get world record with this route. And prove to the world. <laughs> I will prove to the world that this route is worthy. Yeah. <laughs> he will never get 430. <laughs> Starting today. The world record is 422 for your information. Or 423. Up to give you slack. I tried to do that here and uh, look, look where that got me. <laughs> Oh yeah, I did pick up this fucker. There we go. You can actually uh, cancel... So usually when you rob a store, um, the guys pull the alarm. And that gives you two stars every time. Um, but what you can actually do is... Before you look away and he... Because he, um, the guy only in the store... The guy only turns the alarm on when you stop aiming at him. So what you can do is you can aim long enough at the guy to, um, like, trigger him to drop the money, which is where you get the, you know, it counts as being a robbery. And then you can just one-tap him with, like, a rifle or something and shoot him in the head. And obviously he can't pull the alarm if he's dead, right? And then, for some odd reason in this game, robbery is a worse crime than murder. So you get two stars for robbing, but if you assassinate the guy and blow his head off, then you only get one star. So you can avoid Some, two stars that way. And sometimes not even right, one star. Yeah, sometimes, sometimes you just get away. Yeah, if it's a two yeah, star. First degree murder, I sleep. <laughs> Robbery, real shit. America. Yeah. He stole one of the bikers <laughs> bikes here, because they have actually increased handling. It's like twice or much better than the regular PUA angel today. And acceleration as well, I think. Maybe no knights on the handling. Yeah, we call this the god bike for a reason. Shit's cracked. Yeah, I'm gonna be using it for the next couple of hours, <laughs> now minutes. Because there's a lot of races. I mean, it might be hours. <laughs> nah, I hope I don't. Like, it's just driving, man. No way. <laughs> Anyways, next thing that's coming up. Mandu. Oh, boy. 
But nah, it's it's a low stakes, man. Dude. Don't get your hopes up. If I miss it, it's not even that much of a time loss. With a rampage? Yeah, I just do mess with, with the mini ones. The mini game. Oh. Yep, there we go. Got it. So I start just... the mission and the rampage together. And this mission is all about like uh, causing chaos. As you can see, there's a meter on the right, and there's also the rampage that I'm doing. So basically, I am doing the rampage, right? As you can see. There you go. I'm trying to not, not to flick my camera because that would despawn these cars and I still need to shoot some cars to finish this mission up the fun fact about this uh, like rampage plus messing with the man as well um, we were speaking before about wanted levels and uh, like you know how the police deal with you and what's determined as a crime and what isn't or what's a lesser crime and what's a worse crime um, fun fact, those two things that he was doing at the same time, they're actually completely kind of like counteract each other. So when you're on a rampage, you actually have a, um, a 0.3 times, I think it is, uh, like chaos level multiplier, which is what determines how angry the police are at you. So basically, if you kill a bunch of people on a rampage, you get far less police attention than if you were to kill them normally using the same weapon. Uh, but then, during the mission Messing with the Man, you actually get, I think it's three times as many Chaos Points. So, it's basically the same, but backwards. Uh, so you're on a Rampage, which gives you much less Police Ascension, but then you're on a mission that gives you much more than normal. So, yeah. Very interesting, like, contradiction of, uh, of the game's, uh, mechanics there. Crazy how nature does that. Yeah. And what he's doing right here is... Whenever you play a replay while somebody, or a pedestrian in that case, is exiting a car, you freeze him in that state, and he gets stuck in memory for, like, forever until you load a save or, like, reload a game. And yeah, you can, obviously, like, blow up the cars too, but... Yeah, or you blow yeah. up the cars, and obviously since he's stuck in memory, he takes up the memory so no new cars can spawn. So he has effectively free roads, which is very beneficial because he's about to do the SSA races. Yeah, if you want to read anything, there's not much that's happening here, so... <clears throat> when do you do a race one, to pass? Ah, uh, you do it later on this, so... Okay. I was gonna say, you're like, oh, this is like a boring segment, I'm like, wait, is it? <laughs> yeah, it's yeah, pretty boring. boring. Just drive. It's my favorite part, actually. I think most It's runners... enjoyable for, as, as a runner, yeah, but for the viewers, not much. To watch. Yeah, it makes sense. You don't know the feeling of not <laughs> falling off your bike. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I meant oh. that. <laughs> no, that's not what I meant. I'm not one to talk today. I meant that like it's super satisfying. Uh, also, so in the meantime, I, I yeah. can't talk unless you want to go. No, no, no. I was just gonna say something. Go. All right. I was gonna say in the meantime, we're gonna, we can talk a little bit about the charity that we're raising money for. Uh, so all proceeds from this event are going to uh, Save the Children's Gaming Tuesday campaign. Um, basically what that is, is it's a like a gaming version of Giving Tuesday, which is a month of December. It's a Save the Children campaign that they do every single year. And it's to ra raise money for kids in need, basically. Uh, so your donations go a really long way. I wasn't joking earlier when I said that like even as little as a dollar can go a crazy way in terms of changing people's lives. Um, so here I've got a couple of stats for you. Just one dollar donated from you today uh, can provide four children with treatment against pneumonia, which is a life-threatening illness. So just like that, with one dollar, which is, you know, a McDouble at McDonald's, you can save four kids' lives. Like, that is, that is how crazy the money, like how far the money can go. Uh, with just ten dollars, you can provide high-nutrient uh, peanut paste to a malnourished child for ten days. And with $25, uh, you can train a trafficking survivor to be a peer educator for vulnerable girls. 
Because in a lot of the developing countries around the world, there is a lot of issues with, um, you know, child slavery, child soldiers, um, you know, sexual abuse, sexual harassment, things like that. Um, and one of the most important things regarding those issues and the survivors that deal have to go through that is, um, you know, being able to protect others. So even those who have been through hell and back, they want to become educators as well. Um, so yeah, education is like, extremely important when it comes to these places. Um, Thirty-five dollars can help secure, uh, secure, sorry, healthcare, safe shelter, and legal services for a survivor of gender-based violence. And fifty dollars can supply a home water filter, so children can spend their days in school and not spending them walking several miles to fetch clean water. So yeah, like we've raised two hundred and fifty-two dollars currently. And uh, I think 20 cents as well, but I, I haven't got that exact number on me just now. Uh, yeah, so like that will that will easily like change the lives of dozens, if not hundreds, of kids. So yeah, thank you so much to everyone who supported so far. And uh, again, as I mentioned before, um, any revenue from Twitch, I will also donate at the end of the marathon. So if you have a spare Prime sub, or you have any bits or anything like that, um, you're welcome to throw those into the pot, and I'll donate them all at the end. Uh, same goes for any like ad money or anything that I get throughout the event. And uh, yeah, spread the word. Um, tell your friends, tell your family. Tell them all to tune in and uh, laugh at Marushko. That's what we're all here for. It's for kids, you've got to do it. I am doing it. I'm laughing at myself all day. <laughs> <laughs> I'm literally LMAOing right now. <laughs> I'm on the floor, rolling. Ruffling. I'm ruffling. <laughs> Olashenka posted in the VC channel, what's the best run to watch and learn Hundo? Which one is the most updated? <laughs> <laughs> Poor guy. Clueless. Yeah. Oh, I have a run for him. If we get to five hundred dollars in this run, I'll start playing normally. <laughs> Please, <guys. laughs> Please. I'm, I'm getting my my back account out right now. <laughs> We've got a schedule to hit. Uh, thank God I'm the only run for the night. You are not the only run for the night. What? <laughs> you said I was the only one. Yeah, you were, and then I I got someone else involved. Well, we got a twist, Twisted coming on later to do a GTA 5 Trevor Percent Director Mode. Real shit. What oh, is yeah. that? Ah, the boomers don't know. It's, uh, it's, it's basically a bug. Um, someone discovered that you can use Director Mode in the campaign as a glitch. So it's basically like a debug mode. So you can like teleport and give yourself like guns and shit like that. It's, <laughs> what the it's, it's ridiculous. Yeah, Trevor Percent <laughs> is like 40 minutes now. Instead of like an hour, it's crazy. Cool. Yeah. But is it allowed by the rules? <clears throat> uh, Surely yeah, this they, they, separate category. Or yeah, they they did like a huge category split like recently when On Mission Zero was discovered. So now there's classic, which doesn't allow like any of that stuff. Then there's Death Wish, Taxis. And then, like, unrestricted. And it's allowed in uh, unrestricted. I just took the wrong route. I see, I see. <laughs> so, yeah, like, any percent world record now is like two and a half hours, which is mad. Do a little uh, detour here to get these snakes. There we go. Oh, what? Please, guys, just 248 more dollars <laughs> and you'll go around. Please, guys. <laughs> Please. <laughs> 
Oh, the humanity. We're the kids, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Put that there. <laughs> We're just going rock. What uh, what run are you looking forward to the most? Not this one. <laughs> the no SSU one, of course. Yeah, not a bad choice. I always let me open up the schedule real quick. <laughs> 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 I am personally looking most forward to MHMD doing Titan Vice for the first time at a marathon. That will be on Friday at around 7.30 UTC. Very excited for that. Is it that much different? Are there any like yeah. different Insta passes or anything? Uh, you don't do any insta passes. Oh, you don't do any? No, you do a uh, HTC times five boomer. I sleep. <laughs> <laughs> I am not looking forward to that. <laughs> what are you looking forward to then? Besides Told you. fucking no SSU cop out answer. Well, I have to look at the schedule on them. Ah, this guy. <laughs> I don't watch the other GTAs, man. I don't care about anything other than Vice City. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> One trick pony. I literally am, yeah. Maybe the only like exceptions I make are like thriving streams and Petrus. <laughs> if they play SA. Dick riding, crazy. And computer rage if he plays GTA 3 and guy with if he plays anything other than Vice City. That's it. Who are both? <laughs> Who are both running for this marathon, by the way. Only the best of the best here at twitch.tv slash English Ben. Yeah, so... especially right now. <laughs> <laughs> As I... you can see. <laughs> just, uh, just letting your chat know, anyone who's a new viewer, I was once the world record holder of this game. <laughs> <laughs> it used to be good, guys. I promise. Don't worry, guys. <laughs> I <laughs> swear to God, I used to be very good at this just, game. Just pretending. Yeah. <laughs> just pretending, yeah. Here's In my uh, YouTube video talking about uh, this event, I referred to you as one of the best Vice City players of all time. What Thank was you. I thinking? Thank you. <laughs> Finally, someone put some respect on me. Yeah. Nah, don't worry, guys. I'll come back stronger. <laughs> I will come back stronger. This is only the beginning for me. Life doesn't get hard, so just get Bulgarian. <laughs> <laughs> doesn't get better, but I will be get better. I will get better. <laughs> it doesn't get better, but I will. Just so you know. <laughs> Alright, man. Here's a cool strat coming up after Copland. So... I'm gonna finish up the mission. Yep, 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 yep. 
Yep. <laughs> Any second, they're gonna. Oh, there we go. <laughs> so, finish the mission. Pass the acid. I think that's the first acid that I pass. Actually, no. Film Studios is the first. Um, ah, pole position. Pole position yeah. Okay, so third acid has been passed. Yeah, I'm gonna get on this that bike. It's the last you'll see of it. Do the hardest trick one last time. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm gonna come here to the FBI Cheetah. I'm gonna set up a very special glitch. I'm gonna start Vigilante. I'm gonna hold Vigilante. Enter the tool. Let go of it. They do uh, a tool shot warp? Yeah, Real shit. There we go. Select the chainsaw because I want to Ooh. get the chainsaw. And now I have a warp setup that you probably don't realize. Um Yeah, I was trying to there it is. I wanna take now it starts the SSA part card collecting. So, just because I saw this in Furnace, it's convenient enough to take it. It's close to the garage. But I'm actually doing a different thing right now. I'm taking the caddy. But before that, I'm gonna do a mission. So, I'm still gonna like flick my mouse a couple times, see if I get any cars that I need for the SSA. Taxi is actually something I, I need as well, but. That'll come later. Uh, come in later. Is that a banshee? Yeah. Well, I'll take the banshee. No problem. Can even. Oh, I should not have warped. That was a cheetah over there as well. So, yeah. <laughs> All right. Park the cars. The cheetah Esperanto. Damn. Let's go. I'm gonna finish as a save before I even get to the caddy. Famous last words. But I've already got like three cards, which is just really good. Excellent. Oops, I parked it too close to the exit. <laughs> so yeah, <clears throat> I'm only doing the top half of the lists because the. Um, no, don't bust me, you bitch. <laughs> that would have been proper crazy. Proper crazy. Did I get rid of this two star one, though? I feel like I should. Yeah, at this point. I'm gonna do stunt boats. Surely it doesn't matter. <laughs> Alright, start stunt boat challenge. You can see the menu is still up. If I let go of left mouse button. I really hope this two stars shit doesn't fuck me over. Probably shouldn't have killed that uh, cop. But right now I'm just holding left mouse. The tool shop warp is kind of difficult to explain for me. But basically I'm stuck in the menu. But because I save and load it, it's kind of like how I was stuck in the. Uh, the shootest so if i could have save and loaded during the during that stuff that happened to me in the shootest i would have um been fine like i would have been able to move but i couldn't obviously because i was i crashed my game like that so now i basically i'm stuck in the menu of the tool store but i can also like uh i can also move if I just keep buying chainsaws. So right now I'm in the process of buying the chainsaws. Is <laughs> is, <laughs> is like clearly as I can put it. So if I let go of left mouse button, I will buy the chainsaw, and I'll be on the menu again, and I can buy another chainsaw and another chainsaw and another. Thankfully they're not expensive, so I'm not like wasting money or anything, and I don't really need money. The only tricky part about this right here. Is this package because I have the chainsaw on and I'm holding left mouse button I might chainsaw Rico <laughs> <laughs> it's 
so inshallah. <laughs> yeah, just have to turn your camera real quick. <laughs> simple, as, simple as that, bro. <laughs> but I, I think he has enough health for you to not hit him. I don't like, think so. If you if you hit him with one little swipe, you know what I mean? Like oh, not the okay. full swipe. It's like a little part of it. Just, just a little <laughs> cut him to pieces. He's not gonna die, but uh, better not. If you want to be safe, you can just keep the screwdriver instead. Like you can't kill him with that. But I like to have the chainsaw for a lot of things. Like this chainsaw is really useful. It's like the minigun. Minigun, chainsaw, and uh, grenades. Those are the top three craziest, most useful weapons. Okay, so coming to an end, this mission. Thankfully, the police weren't a big issue. Here they are now. Don't kill Rico. Holy shit, is this possible? <laughs> I don't even want to know. So you can see the menu. Just bought a chainsaw. Just making sure the menu is there. That's why I keep like reloading it. And now I need a, please. Okay, there we go. A caddy, there it is. One one on the road. If you have any cars in memory, they won't spawn. But since I'm good. And uh yeah, there it is. I basically chase a warp and then I warp to SA. And yeah, barely even drive this thing. That's one of the cool cooler strats in this uh route, I think. So now I'm gonna start answering some calls and looking for cars that I need. I probably should have taken that taxi. See if a taxi can come towards my way. Ooh, that's a car that I need, the saber. That actually turns left, that's pretty good. I'm gonna keep my camera on it so it doesn't despawn, as you can see. I'm faster than it. My running. So it's gonna shoot it when I get in range. Gonna still like despawn a couple times, maybe I oh there it is. Some uh, camera manipulation there to not get it to despawn. So I need a Saber, Virgo, Landstalker, the two gang cars, a Cheetah. I need a lot of cars. I'm not gonna <laughs> recite them all. Oof, I wanna take this taxi. I should always do this. Fuck. Let's just uh Let's do some uh, taxi setup real quick. Oh that's good. Emination, right? Yeah. Okay. So what he was doing here is what we mentioned two or three hours ago. It's gonna be useful for a later trick that we will explain, it's also a bit complicated, but just for now, he set up a taxi fair destination. So that text on the bottom, the Japanese, that was what we were talking about, that you need to recognize certain symbols to recognize the destination where you need to go later. And that was one of the good ones, so he got the ammunition in downtown. And I just insta-passed race 1, which is a 50 second race, but it's still like <laughs> in useful to, you know, skip it. It's a second skip. Which, I basically like started race one while on race six and that is best it doesn't have to be race six it could be race five four you just have to trigger the race to start and race six is right outside so that's why i use that and now i'm gonna take this call actually while running towards my cuban hermes and still flicking my camera to despawn potential Cars. I don't want any fake label clothes. Very funny, mate, but you know I don't touch bank gear. No, I was just calling to see if I could get a part in one of your movies. Back in England, I did a lot of blue stuff. Mate. Check in to see if the package is taken. Paul, thanks for the offer. I'll bear that in <laughs> mind. Seriously, don't forget about me. I'll feel up done for you. Uh, to pass the SSA asset, you need to collect six cars four in four lists, so like 24 cars in total. 
but he only needs to do half of those because the, the other half he can also do uh, via a glitch. It's also a bit complicated, that comes later. We will explain when we come to it. For now he just collects all the top it's half of the list. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Not what I meant to do. So I save and load there because of a placebo that I feel like does something. Sometimes when you save and load, like cars that you haven't seen at all start spawning. Also, you, what you can do is like play, like replace like that. But unfortunately, I'm getting nothing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rob the store. And in the meantime, I'm gonna start Cannon Father. Get a cop car, real quick. Cause I need a four four seater. There we go. And get my tire popped. It's pretty usual. But if I see a voodoo here, I'm gonna glitch it for sure. But unfortunately, I feel like I'm kind of in that state where you don't get gang cars like. You only get one kind of gang card. Oh, there it is. Uh, it's pretty far away, though. Ah, fuck it up. Get it later. So, yeah. I'm gonna do the mission now while still looking for cars. And the next mission as well. So this is where the minigun is very useful. I can just maul down every single car, every single person. Without moving or anything. It's mostly useful for that car there. I can use my M4 for these guys. Still goes hard. We need reinforcements from the cafe. We need reinforcements for the cafe. The fun random fact about that car: if you enter it, it blows up like ten times when you inside it. <laughs> Damn. For some reason, yeah. Cool Easter egg. Take out that cowardly sniper. Did you learn that while you were doing pacifist? <laughs> Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice. That would have been my idea. Yeah, I did a yeah, cannon fodder on Mission Zero and just suicide bomb them all. It was great. <laughs> Wait, doesn't that count as you killing them? What is this pacifist? It, it, yeah. it wasn't pacifist, it was fists only. No guns. Oh, yeah, you did fists <laughs> only. Did you fist them? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you could, you could just, like, Punch them with our mission zero. Oh, yeah, Even eventually, you're gonna. Oh, you can enter the car and blow everyone up. as much. <laughs> right. So I'm gonna have two stars now. Just shooting the cop cars makes them. The traffic light. The traffic light. Oh yeah, yeah. big traffic light right over here. You can <laughs> see on the right, on the rooftop. Come on, give me a voodoo now. Another uh, interesting fact about that mission is. Um... A very rare set of enemies in this game are actually boss enemies, where they have increased health uh, and increased stats. And one of them is one of the guys on Cannon Fodder that you kill. Uh, it's not mentioned anywhere, but he is a boss enemy. Oh really? God. Which one? Yeah. Uh, Which it's one the... Is... Yes! So, you know, you know when you kill the sniper, and then you have mm -hmm. to clean up the rest of the dudes? It's the second one from the left. So, not the one hiding around the corner, but the one in front of you. Know, the one behind, for the back? Yeah, with the M4. Yeah. Huh, interesting. Yeah, he's Maybe a, that's he's a why boss. sometimes I always thought, like, I surely hit him, but he didn't die. Like, if you Yeah, he, he, can, he can tank a hit from, like, yeah, uh, an M4 or anything like that. Yeah. Interesting. He has increased health. Cool. So I got my voodoo, thankfully. Something I don't have to worry about anymore. And now, if I can get a car, any car. So I'm still looking for an Idaho, a Landstalker, and a Cheetah. Cheetah is easy. I can just start race 2 and it's gonna get loaded in memory and it's gonna spawn quickly. And Landstalker is also very easy. Almost forgot I have to go here. <laughs> because I'm gonna get it on this mission. But what isn't easy is that I'm gonna have 5 stars or 4 while driving it. And Landstalker is not a very uh, fun car to drive. 
So pray for me. But it should be it should be fun. I remember at the start when I did no escape, I was like, man, that was a smooth mission. Can I go back to that, please? <laughs> <laughs> the good old times. The good old fucking times. Uh, anyways, you don't have to kill all these guys. Why are they all getting up? But I kill them to just be safe so I don't get shot. Especially that guy with the shotgun. He can destroy you. This guy here. Shotguns are very overpowered in GTA. Oh. And it's one of the instances of like bullshit spawns where they spawn a guy around the corner with a shotgun. It's like yeah. so unfair. Like, <laughs> why would the fuck would you do that? So yeah, that's the first cop car trap. So you shoot that cop car, it starts driving down. The other one probably shouldn't worry about it too much. Far away. He did catch up to me. So, on the lookout for spike strips and this cop car that's gonna harass me. And because I inevitably, while driving at some point, block the door, I have to re-enter the car because it gets... It's gonna despawn otherwise, for the shortest six minutes possible. And I'm gonna warp. Get the fuck out of there as quickly as possible. Yeah, so in these games, um, if you're driving a car and somebody's aggroed onto you, it's like trying to throw you out of the car, um, and you block the driver's side door, it marks the vehicle for despawn. Yeah. So any kind of like enemy during a mission, or a thief, or a police officer, anything like that, uh, yeah, they'll all make your car despawn, which is really annoying. So, last two cars that I left, um, an Idaho and a Cheetah. So Cheetah is a police car, Idaho is a kind of villager car. <laughs> That spawns in the war area. Idaho is a NPC car. <laughs> Won't be seen dead driving that shit. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't be seen even getting that shit. So I'm gonna start like violently playing replays until I. The... There it is. Ooh, thank God for that phone call. I fat fingered my F2 key <laughs> for my replay key. Actually. Anyways, there's the Idaho and Warp. And for the last car, the Cheetah, I'm gonna start race 2 because that's the next thing that I'm gonna do anyway. And if you haven't noticed, every single race, the cars that are there are... Uh, oh my god, please don't fucking lock yourself in. Uh, <laughs> every, every single time, the cars on the races are um, Cheetah, Infernus, and Banshee, so... I'm gonna get a cheetah real quick. Really? Surely. <laughs> Come on, this works every time. Why are only like NPC vehicles spawning? Okay, I'm not gonna waste my time. Like 50% of the time, 100% of the time, baby, let's go. <laughs> it's like bullshit, bro. Not a single fucking sports car spawn. Well, oh, Mariska, you know you want to know what's not bullshit? Yeah. The fact that Pickard 1961 donated $15 and said, uh, was going to sub, but you get more for a dono, I hope. Yes. Uh, yeah, I mean, donations go, like, 100% of it straight goes straight to the charity. Um, if you sub, then I only get 50%, and Jeff Bezos gets the other 50%. So, <laughs> yeah, you can support Amazon with that. And uh, $25 from James as well, uh, my my boyfriend James, who says, uh, proud of you, hun. Kiss. Thanks, James. James was my uh, first ever subscriber on this channel, fun fact. He's supported me since day one. Shout out to James. I think Rock might be my first. God, I wish Rock was my first. <laughs> he might have been my first viewer. Anyways, that's the list done. Now I'm gonna need a fast car. Okay. Any car, please. Oh, you got the unique taxi. Oh yeah, I did. So, yeah, let's explain this, I guess. Unique taxi <laughs> is that it doesn't have the taxi thing on top. 
So, yeah. That's it. <laughs> Thanks for explaining. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for listening, guys. It happens if... Uh, the, is it the first taxi or the first car? I have no idea. Probably it's, I, I remember Nick explaining this yeah. forever ago. It's... Yeah, it's it's like the first car that spawns after you do some stupid shit. After you open always, a garage, I think that's yeah. Is always <laughs> a weird taxi. Yeah. See, this one has them. Because this game is old, man. It's <laughs> weird. It has the green green on top. <laughs> anyway, pick up these notorious grenades. Again. <laughs> Really, this time it's, it's easier. Just two hundred eight more dollars, guys. Please, please. <laughs> this time it's easier. The, the god bike is much shorter. Yeah. It's like five foot eleven versus six foot. <laughs> oh, I'm the god. Sanchez Marushko is the angel. <laughs> I am what an are angel. you doing? I tried to trigger them while going to the bike. <laughs> Anyways, race You're two. Just triggering the entire chat room instead. <laughs> the last race of all time. And I'm playing hard metal and it's fuck this shit. I'm angry. <laughs> angry. Where is the traffic though? I've I have no glitched cars. Like what's going on? Mm, it's like because you're close to the racers and the park cars. Take yeah, but memory. usually on this race you get like a billion cars. Not not too many, no. I just kill the pedestrian. <clears throat> so you have to always be aware. Of these uh, drivers, they try to pit maneuver you. I don't even know if it's intended or not, but like, if it is, no, they uh, just drive like random. psychos. Yeah, yeah but sometimes I've noticed like they drive straight and then I come nearby and then they start like driving like idiots. So. Yeah. I don't know. So I was they, slow enough. Lunatics. I was slow enough that this PCJ respawned. <laughs> Do you wow. know the exact time for that? I don't know, it usually doesn't respawn, so it's probably either time or my angle, which I don't because think is angle. 35 years, Jace, so I always wonder what the exact time is at the beginning of the PCJ. Uh, jumped. Yeah, I have no idea what the cooldown is. Same. The PCJ playground. Epic. Another hardest mission in the game. A very hard <laughs> mission. On Maybe it should have been the past. Uh, oh, I see a package I haven't picked up. <laughs> I told you about this one like two and a half hours ago. <laughs> I don't remember. Bro. I'm always on the lookout for this one in particular. Always. His ass is not listening. What the yeah. fuck is going on, bro? <laughs> I think I forgot how to drive a bike. <laughs> so there's a scripted van here. But what the fuck? <laughs> that almost, van spawn is so dumb, man. Like, it almost hit me. Yeah. I've never. You're, had... you're getting old, bro. Just, I've just, never. Face been... it. Yeah, you, usually it's like no threat. You're usually like a good, <laughs> a good like second ahead of it. But yeah, it's like when you get was, old was and like every fall <laughs> is near death experience. Yeah, you sneeze and you put your back out for like a month. <laughs> Holy shit! I can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, that's where Rock's been for the last six months. <laughs> no. One bad sneeze, and you're out until that beats you, man. Jesus Christ, fuck. Ride a bike to work. Yeah, right. that final jump in PCJ Playground is like deceptive for how tricky it is. Like, you you got to go fast enough to clear. I either clear the entire building to the next checkpoint, or go slow enough that you land on the roof and then jump to the next building. It's you you have to pick one or the other, and it's really difficult to like gauge the right amount of speed to pick one. Is it it either goes it either goes flawlessly or just you're just struggling completely yeah. in between. Yeah. I actually learned a reference for it that I got from <laughs> MH's Hundo PB from like years and yeah. years ago. Cause I also I was so it. sick of failing it. I also got it from MH. Yeah. The so second chopper checkpoint, there's actually like 15 chopper checkpoints in a row. Not in a row, but like very close to one another. So it's this one, the vice point one, and then the little easy one, very close to each other. Yeah. 
Proper checkpoints, probably the least fun side activity in the game, in my opinion. This one yeah, these things cool. are kind of shit because, like, it's just about setting your own record time, so it's basically just a time trial, you know? There's no, there's no competition, <laughs> and you only do it once, so you set a time, it doesn't matter what the time is. I and then you get a hundred dollars, like, who gives a shit? Yeah. <laughs> it's a real waste of time. You get more each time, no? Uh, I mean, maybe, but who does this shit more than once? Yeah, true. Going crazy, V2. Yeah. Can you imagine if you had to do, like, Cone Crazy but with chopper <laughs> checkpoints to get money? Oh my god, I, I think I'd fucking just run, like, heats instead. So here's a run over rampage with the rotor blades, like we were talking about earlier. This is a cool strat. Yeah, and I'm gonna do it on the beach because it's very convenient. Like, you can see all the spawns where you have to go. Stepping on the beach. Only problem is, just like you saw earlier, I there are like some particles of the beach where it's like higher than usual and you get your blades stuck on it. Pretty annoying, but if you're just careful, you're, you're gonna be fine. I need full no, You can see this rampage was really quick. Yeah, there's like a certain way that you can fly to make sure that you never go too low, that you like hit the ground, but it's not easy to do because obviously you're going to be low enough to actually hit the people as well. Yeah. So, it's tricky. I take this one already. Okay. I did. And that one over there as well. So, what I'm going to do. Yeah, these are like the first ones you grabbed. I'm going to select the nades and start the rampage, the katana rampage. It's only 10 kills, and, but with like the katana, it's really hard to do. But with grenades, it's really easy to do. I'll pick up the bike again for a short little section. So do this, that, and the third. And the next two rampages that I'm gonna do are actually without grenades, believe it or not. Oh my god. Yeah, they're, they're fast enough, and you also only have four grenades at this point, so... Yeah. I do believe that the spaz is faster with the spaz. Yeah. Not the, the... This thing with re reloading via replays is just like a complete death machine. It's so overpowered. Can just, you see there's like 18 people there and you killed them in three seconds flat. And while I'm waiting for the spawns to, like, the corpses to respawn, I'm just gonna save a replay over the other rampage that's nearby. Up. But I'm not gonna do it now. I'm gonna save it for a setup later. In a proximity penalty, Josh would be screaming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Boomer memes. Whatever happened to that shit? The <laughs> Good question. Go and ask things. him. <laughs> <laughs> I'll... <laughs> Alright, start the driver now. Another setup for the uh, the job. The heist. We need a driver, and to prove that we need a driver, we're gonna drive better than him. <laughs> it's such a stupid concept. It is, indeed. And the whole mission is fucked up, but we can uh, cheat it by just taking a PCJ instead of using the Sentinel. It's still yeah, hard. He, even he, with he tries to cheat, so you just cheat back. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like his car is like much faster than a Sentinel. My bike is also like ten times faster than his, and my driving is better. Questionable. Fuck you. My driving is good. Everything in this run has been shit, but my driving has been semi good. All right, not <laughs> better than average. But... We're keeping on the uh, the random dumb facts about this mission that I learned by doing those stupid snowflake series on YouTube. Uh, during this mission, uh, Hillary is set to, if he gets stuck, teleport him to the nearest path that you can drive on. Uh, but if you get him stuck right at the start of the mission by like blocking him in with clutch cars and stuff, uh, the nearest path is actually the boat path on the river next to um, next to the Malibu Club. And the game doesn't differentiate between both paths, boat paths, and uh, and car paths. So he teleports just into the ocean and dies. 
Rockstar well, he, he doesn't die until... Actually, that's a lie. He doesn't die. He just sits there in the car completely fine. But then it only checks for Hillary being dead once you've finished the mission. So you, you do the mission and you think that you're going to win. Then you hit the final checkpoint and you fail because Hillary died. So <laughs> dumb. Okay, I'll drive for you, it's one of the worst missions. I failed it in my PV, I think. I'm yeah. pretty sure I did. I think World Record failed this, right? No, World Record died on uh, SSA. Ah, uh, SSA. So, I don't know. Yeah, my driving is average. Ah, uh, whatever, I don't need the bike. Just run. Running is healthy for you guys. Hope you do your cardio. Another chop chopper checkpoint. Like I was about to say, this category is very... I don't like saying RNG, but it is very RNG. Like, <laughs> some, some there is a lot of luck involved. Yeah, yeah some a sections lot of, are... Like, yeah. I've had runs... When you play Vice City for like four and a half, five hours, like, there's gonna be some things that are out of your control, sadly. Exactly, yeah. I've had you runs that well. were purely carried by luck and have looked like good times, but I've played like shit. And of course there have been many runs where you play like a god and then you just get fucked. Yeah. So what's next? <laughs> Regular G Spotlight? I already did G Spotlight bro. I'll tell Take you what's move, next. Marushka. Alien sex? Now ten dollars from Doctor Seventeen. Oh yeah. Uh, that says let's make it three hundred dollars. Good luck to all the runners. So yeah, we're now over three hundred dollars raised for kids. Jesus Christ! I might even have to start playing well. God damn. Rushka, how does it make you feel that playing a random video game fast from twenty years ago has allowed you to change the lives of many children in need? Uh, it is very weird, honestly. Surreal, even. I've been saying for years, man, if it wasn't for Vice City, I would have been such a huge loser in life. Yeah, but now you're a huge winner. <laughs> I'm a huge loser, but like, with little to show, with a little bit more to show for my life. Anyways, drop down here. All rings. Cancel it, buy this. Back. Let's this see. is where winners stay. The Skamal Shack. <laughs> so it's a <laughs> winner's house. Shumi Shook. <laughs> <The Shumi -shuk. laughs> Save my game in case I miss this. You probably shouldn't miss it, but... That's one of the luck based things. Now I'm gonna run down here. Start Hogtide. Are you kidding me? Okay, I guess we haven't showcased this animation. <laughs> One of the dumbest, like, additions to the game. Yeah, it's the, if a car is coming up uh, in front of you, and you press space at any time, Tommy will, like, very slowly dive out of the way. And, uh, you know, when you're not able to sprint, like, on a rampage, you'll jump to move faster, and you'll just do that dive, and it's just... It's so cringe. It makes me want to head, put my head through my fucking desk whenever I do it. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. gross. But it's nowhere near as bad as the GTA 3 animation of stumbling into a car door. Oh, uh, yeah. Or into true. a wall. <laughs> yeah, it's tragic. So, I made a save replay over the shack, and I can warp back. And since I'm on mission zero, like, obviously I can save warp. But also, I can have this call ring. I'm gonna hold this call for the next mission. So this guy drives away. Take the other angel. It's a short drive, doesn't really matter what bike you take here. And to get the PCJ, you're gonna have to do a setup that's gonna cost you more time than just like driving this angel for like 5 seconds. Yeah, you legit just drive down the street, so... Yeah, save a replay over there, seemingly random spot, but we'll see what, what's there. We do this, UJ, which 
would be the last one. And then another chopper checkpoint. Yeah, but before that, the package. And the last chopper checkpoint. I don't know. Oh, thank God. Like I said, <laughs> they all come really quickly one after the other, and then boom. Yeah, it's nice to get them out of the way, to be fair, I guess. Yeah. A couple of minutes and you're done. But the problem with this one is you're holding a call, so it's kind of uncomfortable to fly. Yeah. I usually um, hold calls with a extra side button on my mouse, but I don't have three hands, so I can't use my mouse, hold a call, use the arrow keys, and then WASD to fly as well. Yeah. So I usually end up having to like hold caps lock with my little finger on my left hand Jesus. while also driving, and it's, yeah, it's, it's not great. Thank right God I like fly with mouse. What? Yeah. I, I fly with mouse in SA, so I probably should start doing it in VC as well, to be honest. <laughs> what do you mean? What, what Do you mean, like, did you think Ooh. that I fly with uh, with my mouse with, like... I don't know, arrow keys, like a normal, normal person. I think a lot of people fly with mouse. Uh, just just to be clear, like, by <laughs> with mouse, I don't mean as in, like, I swipe my mouse to Yeah, aim. that's what I mean. I mean, like, uh, like left-click to lean forward, right-click to lean, lean backwards, etc. Yeah, exactly. That's what I do. Oh, I do it the other way around in SA. There is a reason why I do it in SA, but I don't remember what it is, but it's some kind of strat where, like... Yeah, you have to, like, hold a call and fly, and it's a lot easier to do it with the mouse. I think it's, like, misappropriation or something like that. So you can do this. Like... Fly, drop down, and then answer the call, which... Gets you up on your feet immediately, and then when you get in the car after starting the mission, you cancel the call that like we've talked about earlier. I'm gonna ditch this. Yeah, you can uh, do it with uh, with cars as well. Basically, any vehicle that you can bail out of, you can like cancel the fall. Which is nice. Did you see that Elgato came out with a game with foot pedal? Oh really? No, I didn't yeah, see that. They were such big fans of GTA. They made it just for us. <laughs> It Big fans also... of Meno, Meno Triple Eight using it. <laughs> it also has two additional buttons. To it. it has like three little pedals, so you can take it to do TBD duping on it as well. <laughs> oh, real <laughs> shit. If I if I had no hand eye coordination, I certainly don't have any feet high co coordination. <laughs> that would be a That's challenge. True. TBD duping on foot pedals. Yeah, uh, hey, sounds man. impossible. Good, <laughs> Clutch control. And so bombs away dupe is uh, the catalyst to making this game very unstable so uh, if you dupe certain mission inside of a cutscene like you saw there where basically like you answer a call you go on mission zero and then because tommy is still stood in the marker outside it enters the mission again while you're still in the cutscene uh, it's useful for the speedruns because you can do certain insta passes with it uh, such as friendly rivalry, which Rishko will be doing in a second, where you literally just start the mission and get out and mission passed. Uh, but also, it makes the game extremely unstable, and it starts um, corrupting the memory of the game. So you'll start seeing soon, uh, lampposts will start duplicating and falling over. Uh, he might even get disco lights, where like the street lights just turn random, random colors instead of white. Uh, there's a bunch of different corruption that can happen, and the game can crash as well, which isn't good. Uh, but there, he actually insta-passed bombs away with Vigilante. So you have Vigilante running, and then you uh, throw a nade just as you walk into the bombs away marker. Because if you just walked into the bombs away marker normally, as I said before, Tommy is stood outside, inside the marker. So you would get on mission zero, then you would start the next mission right after the insta-pass, which is the third anti-poly mission, Dirty Lickens. And if you start that while the second instance of bombs away is still running, then you crash the game. So instead, what you do is you throw a grenade to you enter the marker to knock you out uh, of the marker and then you give you just enough time to, like, jump out of the way so you don't accidentally start the next mission and crash the game. It's a very, uh, very tricky setup and it can be a little inconsistent as well, but... It's much better than doing bombs away because that mission sucks. Yep. And now I'm gonna restart my game because the game, like we said, it's unstable. And reset, restarting yeah. is like 
fixes it a little bit, but it's still pretty fucked. So, wait. Yeah, restarting the game is like a really good way to sort of reset everything that we've done in terms of like the you know, glitches and memory corruption and stuff. Some stuff does carry over, but most of it just gets wiped when you close the game. Game can kind of catch up with all that we've done. <laughs> And what I did there is I started taxi and I let go of the phone call that was like in my uh, inventory, the on mission zero phone call. So I'm holding taxi now in the voodoo without a call, like without holding a call. And this is basically to, oh my god, bro. Okay, it's gonna disappear by the time I get there if there are not, aren't any cops. Okay, yeah, there, <laughs> it disappeared. But uh, anyway, so now when I exit this voodoo, right here, call rings, I let go of taxi, and call stays ringing, but I'm not holding it. So this is all because I want to start holding it now. I don't want to have to wait 20 seconds later. I'm gonna, like, uh, buffer a save warp to Kaufman's for later. And you can, you guys can explain this uh, in space because I have to. Yeah, so um, this is a very particular way of doing an insta pass. Uh, basically, you insta pass spilling the beans using Trojan Voodoo, but the state that the mission needs to be in is during a certain dialogue line. Now, obviously, it's quite difficult to time a dialogue line, especially one that's location based, like the one that we need for uh, spilling the beans, um, while also starting another mission, right? So instead, what you can do is if you hold a call like Marushka was doing and then drive to the location that makes uh, Pepe say the certain line that we need to, which is the, uh, was it, I, I had a beautiful woman or something yeah. like that. Mm -hmm. uh, and then you let go of the call, which interrupts the audio, and it actually gets the mission stuck um, on that line. So we have that permanent state that we can use. Uh, permanent is a, is a stretch, but it gives us enough time to go and start spilling the beans. And then you just need to skip the cutscene at a specific time. Uh, my personal reference is Tommy's footsteps. Some people might have different ones. Uh, some people might just time it. I don't know. Um, Look, when he turns his head. Yeah, that also works, yeah. Um, so then you still have another uh, Spilling the Beans instance, even though we've passed a mission. And we're going to use it um, because we can use that... Uh, spilling the beans instance get that mission to a certain state which is just after um the cutscene uh with the guy what is it what the guy on top of the boat i don't remember the law he has like some information that we extort from him basically yeah uh and then if you keep spilling the beans in this state and then you go and st start the rc raider pickup which is the one in the airport where you collect all the checkpoints then you're insta past that as well so uh, we insta-pass one mission, and then use the leftover instance of that insta-pass mission to insta-pass another mission. Which it is, yeah. Really zoomy. Skip two missions. Mm -hmm. oh, I'll do some more rampages on the way. This is an actual grenades rampage. Uh, the one and only in the game, I think, from memory. So this looks very normal, but this is, yeah, this is the only intentional mm -hmm. grenades rampage. It's also probably the easiest, believe it or not, because grenades are really good at killing groups of enemies. Who would have thunk it? Mm, not really, because they make you kill 30 people and that's quite a bunch and you get always cops' attention. Might, yeah, true. Might it's 35, sometimes. I think. Yeah, yeah it's 35. Stupid. It's a lot. Not as bad as um, fucking VCS PS2, <laughs> which is 70 <laughs> kills with the M240 or whatever it is, M249. Gross. Yeah, Marushko parks his bike a little further away there, because when you start RC Raider pickup, it actually has a small little despawn zone around the map. Uh, around the van, sorry. So, it's important to park your bike a little <laughs> further away, because otherwise you'll despawn the bike. <laughs> nice one. Yeah, that was ambitious. <laughs> I'm gonna start glitching cars, because a mission is coming up that I want to have. Uh, glitched cars for. Uh, 
I want more, why not? Okay, there it is. And now I'm gonna set up an on mission zero call using cherry poppers. Oh, you do this twice? Got yeah, that. You've already seen this. The trick here is to hold the call after this cutscene ends, so I'm not touching anything yet. And now you hold it. Warp. Cheeky little clip through the wall there for the flex. Yep. <laughs> if you uh, if you have your bike facing a wall and you go to enter it through the other side of the wall, Tommy will just like enter the bike like the wall isn't even there. You can use that to like clip through entire like you know what I mean entire walls, fences, gates, you name it. Yeah, as long as they're not taken. Yeah. This is an instapass that we do in Noise 2 as well. And instead of doing it five times, I'm gonna do it twice only. This just instapasses cherry poppers. And it gives you more assets. So what I want to do is, is do cap the collector earlier. So I'm trying to basically trick the game. By Normally me. cap the collector only unlocks when you have Seven assets? Yeah, seven assets. Um, the the print works of Vasetti Estate and five others of your choice. So you can see I warped there to uh, Kaufman's because I buffered the replay earlier. And the uh, the Cab McGinnon Insta Pass there works exactly the same as Cherry Poppers. You just start hit the courier and instead of starting Cherry Poppers, you start Cab McGinnon instead. Works exactly the same way. And I managed to buffer the exit of the taxi just before mission passes, so I can be out of the taxi already. And I killed the leftover Kaufman instance with taxi by spamming it. Oh my god, can I stop killing people? Again? Yeah, if you remember all the way back like three hours ago, we were talking about why he plays on Japanese. This is the reason yeah. for these uh, cherry popper insta passes. Because if you try and do this on the international version, you'll crash the game. And now I basically start hit the career again with an on-mission zero call, but this time I'm actually going to do it for real. <laughs> for real this time. For real, I swear. But yeah, I'm going to switch this taxi for a faster cheetah. I'm going to pretend I pick up packages here because there's nothing else to do. <laughs> You're waiting on the guys to arrive in a helicopter, so it's kind of an auto scroll. The what? <laughs> well, you can me? say guys to them as well. The gender neutral term. Yeah. Oh my bad. <laughs> yeah, I didn't even know. Alright. Pick up that one package, and we'll pick up this other one as well. And pick it up through the wall. <laughs> Least schizophrenic on the runner. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta make the sound to yourself as well with your mouth. And now I answer With the Link. Call, <laughs> and I start blasting. It's the best time blasting. <laughs> and they don't touch me because I'm on a call, basically. And when you're talking on the phone, NPCs don't bother you. Gang members, like NPCs. I blow up the whatever it's called helicopter so it drops down faster yeah and very important to um snipe the lady out of the helicopter so the um so she's outside of the helicopter before you blow up the heli yeah because if you blow up the helicopter with her inside uh then the plate which is what she's holding and what you're trying to get um get destroyed and you fail the mission and i wanted to kill all of the ladies on the ground because they would otherwise chase me down while I'm doing this and they'd probably be at my cheetah right now and they have like shotguns and uzis so they'd be it'd be very easy for them to just kill me and shoot my car anyways using the same trick that I used in the airport to um, do a rocket launcher rampage Oops. how convenient they put a truck 
as <laughs> both of the vehicle around yeah. pages like this. It's like they knew. <laughs> they knew. They must have known. They must have known. It's at like the perfect range for both of them. So I'm gonna say we're back to Printworks. Now I'm gonna jump in a way that I trigger the end of the mission, but not the start of it, I guess. It's because I'm on mission zero, and the end and the start markers are at the same position. So I could technically start hit the career again, but you want to do that? Not that it would crash my game or anything, but it's just not optimal. Yeah, it's just slow. You would have to wait for the mission to pass again. Yeah. Like you have to, you have to wait for the cutscene. So I pick up this package while I'm on vigilante. Then I warp back. It doesn't matter. Whatever. I'm on on mission zero vigilante. I'm gonna drive over, over here to this package while I'm waiting for another call to come. So, here we go. I'm gonna drive out a little bit. Call rings, cancel it. Then I start hit uh, kept the collector. And this is where I wanted cars to be glitched, so there aren't any on the road. Because if there were any on the road here, then these guys would get stuck probably or just. Or they wouldn't get stuck, so get them getting stuck here is actually good. I can snipe them like this through the walls. Like I did with that boat earlier. So yeah. now GG. What the fuck am I doing? I have to do this uh robbery first. <laughs> get a little ahead of myself. Robbery and there's a package here as well. So I take it, and since I'm on mission zero, I can warp back again. So, what I'm gonna do here is actually, these guys are coming this way, so I'm just gonna like let them get ahead of me and just drive by them. Any moment now. Go. <laughs> gonna make a different replay here. And the last set of like collectors, bikes, uh, they're gonna get stuck at cherry poppers, so I don't have to worry about them, but while I'm waiting for them to come, because they're coming all the way from uh, film studios, I think that's where they spawn roughly, I'm gonna take this cheetah that I glitched in a specific way, so I can actually enter it, because normally you can't enter, or you can't exit glitch cars, but this one you can Yeah, can't. you get stuck inside them once you're in. Yeah. And uh, this one is like, basically just pretend that this cheetah is a satchel from San Andreas. Like you can throw it somewhere and just explode it later. But since there aren't any satchels in this game, there are, but for shit. Uh, I can use this car as a like yeah, satchel. There's, there's remote control grenades that you can detonate like remotely, but they despawn with cutscenes and stuff. So they're useless for what we want them for. Yeah. And now I'm just gonna Go back to little Havana and work to cherry poppers, and you can see the last set is already here. I need to run them over. Oh my god! I didn't mean to run them over. Runs them over four <laughs> times. <laughs> but yeah, anyways, I should have taken the Sanchez. What am I doing? Okay, anyway, I'm gonna come here and just like trigger the shop so I can switch away from the detonator. And then I rob this guy, and as you remember, like I said, the tool star, when you shoot him, you don't actually get a star. So I'm gonna drop this car off here, answer this call, it's the keep your friends close call. So I've unlocked the final mission, which is not the final mission that I'm gonna be doing. But, final mission of the story. Yeah, final mission of the story. I'm gonna set up an on mission zero vigilante again, with the FBI cheetah. I left the regular sheet over there. Pick it up later. And a call should come in, there it is. Let go of Vigilante, and now I have a call ringing, and I'm gonna start to keep your friends close. And it's gonna start the uh, probably longest insta pass game in the run, which is the double insta pass. So I'm gonna sneakily made it, make a replay over the save icon. Oh, up there. In the mansion. I'm gonna take this uh, cheetah. So now I have one minute until land spawns and two minutes until sunny spawns. Like the 
two bosses that I have to kill. So while I'm waiting for this one minute, I'm gonna do some errands. So actually, I'm not waiting for this one minute, I'm actually waiting for Sunny to spawn. Like, Lance is irrelevant. As long as I kill him, it doesn't matter when. Let's click. Yes, Sunny spawn is two minutes from the mission start. It's not one minute from when Lance spawns. So you can delay Lance's spawn by like 30 seconds and Sunny will still spawn at the same time as long as Lance is dead. So when you kill Lance doesn't matter as long as you're on time. Exactly. I'm just picking up packages around uh, Starfish Island. Like this one here. And you can see just now at 1 o'clock, the pink text on the bottom appeared. And that's when Lance spawns, so at 2 o'clock, uh, Sunny is gonna spawn. But basically, I have like plenty of time to come over here. And yeah, the mission's basically hinting to tell you to go back and face Lance, because yeah. he's waiting for you. I'm gonna rob the store. And oh my god, I'm gonna take the package. <laughs> Big diversion. What the? <laughs> in other runs, you wouldn't take this package, but I think I have my explanation. I'll do it later, though. So I pick up my satchel, uh, my satchel car, let's say, and I'm gonna drop it off where Sunny is gonna spawn. So, I'll team with Lance Place because I warped to the uh, mansion. I'm gonna drop it off here. So now I'm gonna use the minigun to kill Lance. Wait a couple of seconds while holding the call. Honey is gonna spawn in like two, three seconds. There it is. And now I'm gonna shoot this guy four times with the revolver, which leaves him vulnerable, vulnerable enough to die from the explosion of the car. And you'll see why that matters. I'm gonna back up a little bit. There it is. Drop down while um, I listen to the call. And now. I just leave. So Sunny is like one hit away. And I'm gonna go to the Malibu and start the job. But just before I start the job, I'm gonna kill Lance. And as I start the job, keep your friends close finishes, and that insta passes the job. And then you'll see what happens later. So now I'm just driving this car. I'm not in a huge rush, but usually you just wanna get this shit over with. It's not that hard. Not even like a very precise timing at all, in my opinion. It's just a lot of factors because it's a very long setup. Yeah. So I blow up the cheetah, run into the marker, keep your friends close, finishes, and you can see it glitches out and starts the job. And now this is the end cutscene of the job, see, basically. This is going to be the easiest buck we ever made. And I can't skip this cutscene because it's gonna fuck up. I think I can't skip it at all. But I'm just not gonna touch my computer. My keyword mouse. Well, who needs a simple plan anyway? Until now that was a, a call plan. rings. It's Didn't gonna ring soon. Any favors, huh? Calm down, all right? With a team like this, it's gonna be no problem. It's also worth it's mentioning that, that um, safe. that whole time when he was when holding the call security. during the uh, keep your friends close bit in the mansion, uh, that is like absolutely integral with the setup. Because if you're not holding a call and you go to the top of the stairs, that's where the mission starts is. And if you were to restart, keep your friends close, oh, and dupe yeah. the mission, you would crash the game instantly. instantly yeah. Every single time you do that mission, it crashes. It crashes because you've played a little bit of the mission. So like if you dupe it at the start, it's not going to crash, you know? Yeah. So, yeah. Finish the cutscene. And now I'm going to collect the boys. And I'm gonna do the other part of the double instant pass, which is using the job, this leftover instance of the job at least, to insta pass keep your friends close because I didn't technically finish the mission. And what insta pass and keep your friends close does is it actually skips the last cutscene and the credits, which are unskippable, and you need to like pass them. Yeah, so this is another insta pass that works the same as the spilling the beans one. Um, you just have to soft lock a certain dialogue line. Uh, the one that Barushka uses is the "Hey Tommy, we, why have we stopped?" Because you can trigger that by just stopping the vehicle and getting out. Or there's a number of different ways to do it. Uh, this particular insta pass, you can do it with several different voice lines, but that's just the easiest and quickest one to do. Yeah. Now, I'm gonna run over to the cheetah. 
save my um, make a save replay over here. And there's gonna be a call. I'm gonna skip. Skip it. What I'm gonna do is get in. I'm gonna take a couple of times because I'm very bad at it. Like one frame, but there it is. So what that does is it kills the leftover instance of um Keep your friends close. Keep, keep your friends close, yeah. And now I'm gonna run over here into these nades. I just bought a bow, man. Get the nade oh. We're back, save. And now my game is gonna. There it is. Actually, I should uh, load. I load here to uh, get rid of the glitched cars. To get rid of the glitched cars. Yeah, the reason why he didn't just uh, go and start Vigilante. Um, is because if you just straight up start it to try and kill an instance, it can crash your game uh, randomly. Um, but if you are outside of the car and you start vigilante like just as you exit, for so I don't exactly know why, but it seems to um, you know prevent those types of crashes. So the Cheeto was there not is a, there. There is a safe strat to that where you just wait for the phone call, a phone to ring, and then you just drown. So if you don't want to do that, the Shen you can just do the safe method. Yeah, this is also like very safe. If you yeah. cancel it last second. So I picked up eight nades specifically because I am gonna be doing another rampage with eight. Need more than four. I'm gonna come here, blow up this car. Pick up this shit. Okay. What about her? Okay, so what he's trying to set up here. Uh, first of all, he's taking a phone call, a pretty long one during this mission, that's why nobody attacks him, so he's pretty free to do anything here. And then he's already setting up like, the next huge glitch. I talked about earlier that he only collected half of the cars necessary for SSA, uh, and because he will use a glitch to complete the other half. And that glitch, it's also kind of complicated, but it works in a way that if there's enough people or pedestrians, in a certain area, close by, then it, the game gets all wonky, like the memory messes with each other and it just so happens to be that it messes with the memory or like the script of the SSA cars, so you can manipulate it to have them auto-complete or like checked already that you have completed them. But the, the trick is that if you so first of all, if you start loose ends, it's one of the only missions in this game where a mission spawns a lot of enemies. So you would think like, okay, I'll just start it twice and have a lot of people. But that's also not beneficial because if you have too many people, it kind of also messes with it in a bad way. Like it doesn't get cons consistent. You don't get consistent results. So you want to have like the perfect exact amount of enemies, that's why he blew up some cars at the beginning and why he's killing some people here. And now he's gonna like get close to cherry poppers here to get the enemies to line up or like track him, come close to each other like in a small group and there he, he got the first one, the first list, GG. And also pausing for some reason helps a bit with this glitch. Yeah, it like resets some value. I don't. <laughs> I know it resets some value to like. Yeah. So he's gonna pause a few times. Back in the day when this was uh, found out, I was actually very into uh, understanding the technical parts of it. Now I just don't. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't bother. <laughs> now, now it's like. Fuck. <laughs> So I just like move around a little bit here in this area and just like spam a little bit of um, you know, what is it called, uh, escape. So I also do not want to like fly over. It's not just because it's dangerous, but it's also like 
kind of a placebo, but kind of not. <clears throat> you have to enter like Vice Port and then go back to uh, Little Havana without <coughs> like being close to those guys. I don't know. It's weird. So let's see. Yeah, I got I got all three, which is good. And because sometimes when you uh, deliver a car after you d done this, it can eat it up. So basically, like you deliver it, but it doesn't check. The safest thing to do is like deliver the sentinel here because you can just respawn it. You can see it checked. Good. Now I'm just gonna deliver these two cars, the Virgo and the the Saber. And you can see I park them all depending on their speed. Virgo and Saber obviously like and the caddy closest to the garage. And the sports cars obviously are for this. I'm gonna set up an auto walk. Which is basically just like a glitch. It lets me uh, walk without owning W. During this cutscene, I'm just like walking forward. <clears throat> and I get to the computer actually. Can't get it out. And the cheetah, again, after you know doing the list, it's also safest to do the cheetah first. Because you can also just like get it from the police station. Whereas an Infernus, for example, you would have to go to the mansion, and that's very far away. And you, you kind of want to keep this helicopter as well. Even though I've kind of picked up a lot of packages up. <laughs> on the airport. It's still very, like, comfortable to use. Alright. Now I'm gonna get back on my helicopter. I'm gonna be careful about flying over as well. This time purely for uh, safety, because they can pretty much explode my helicopter immediately if I were to fly over them solo. I'm just gonna. There it is. I was gonna say. I'm just gonna like try to get list three. And now I'm gonna just spam a little bit more to get list four, the bottom row. I don't know if this uh, explosion is good or bad. It's not my helicopter. You can be sure. But I'm sure it's like bad if I were to still be doing list 1, but since I'm on list 4, it's gonna like move a little bit more and stuff like that. Yeah, most of the time when you're like just approaching and it already passed, passed the list, just like just now, you're pretty much also guaranteed to have the next list. My supposed to be my guys. Okay, so, um, fuck that. <laughs> Just uh, wanted to check something real quick. Um, so now I'm just gonna do a check over what packages I've picked up. So I know I picked up this one over there. I picked up these two. That one. I'm just gonna finish the mission right here. So I'll pick up this one as well. I've picked it up. Don't want to play. So basically, I've picked up everything. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna head to uh, SA. I almost forgot, actually. Did you get these two parking lot and barrels? Oh, packages. Thank you very much. I also have another package that I kind of forgot. I was supposed to do it on the second return. So, take this one. last pack of kind of <laughs> but stuff happens you know you don't plan for this type of, type of shit maybe I should have almost fell off yeah 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 <laughs> it's the Marushka classic again so enough packages enough helicopters 
Then I... Do you take the hot ring in your route? I have no idea. Pretty sure you don't. Like, obviously I, I do. I just have to do the rampage here. So you can see bottom half of the list completed. To, to be safe, I should have um, delivered the voodoo first because it's a very easy car to get right now. And just start Trojan voodoo and there's a fixed voodoo spawn. But fortunately I didn't get named. And sometimes cars can also disappear from your garage, which is the worst possible thing to happen. So yeah, there you go. SSA done. That's all the lists. And I'm gonna cancel this thing. Oh my god, I didn't mean to. Yeah, I guess I'm gonna do it normally. <laughs> I was supposed to do it with rampages or with grenades. But, you know. Just do it. Yeah, I'm gonna just. Whatever, man, just do it. Whatever. Gotta get away from here because these fuckers are clearing my spawn. It's a little risky. Cause you're gonna be- I'm playing a lot of replays, my game could crash right now, potentially. Did you? Oh no, you did do gun range. Yes. No, I haven't yet. Okay, yeah. I'm like playing it very safely with my replays. I'm spamming them at all. <laughs> Alright. So this rampage should have been much faster with grenades, but... There we go. Oh, I'm gonna save grenades for the other rampage. Then. Do a drop. Save your game, just in case. Uh, I'll save it at offense. Great drive, I don't do the rampage because I use it for TV. So, I'm not gonna be picking up those 20 ramp uh, packages because I'm gonna take way too much time. Yeah, just know. pretend we already got them at the beginning. Yeah, basically what happened is I soft locked on the shooters and I didn't have a save that was next to the shooters, so I skipped two missions plus Pizza Boy. Packages were not aligned within those two saves, so it's kind of a discrepancy. I'm gonna take my hot ring. I thought it was gonna despawn, honestly. But... Yes. So I started on Mission Zero Taxi, getting a on Mission Zero call here. There it is. Our gun runner. Training. That's uh, one thing that. Fail this package. Anything? And I'm gonna hold this call throughout the entire mission because I'm gonna get a star almost immediately after I um, do the objective, and I'm probably not gonna get that call again. Also, it's important to get this call in particular because this is the anti polay call, and you kind of just like it's a, it's a short call, and that's uh, it's only it's region specific. You can only get it in. Um, Little Haiti after you've uh, passed whatever mission. No. Dirty Rickens? Dirty Rickens, yeah. <coughs> so, yeah. These Fajo guys are gonna shoot one or two. So they respawn and they're gonna be like closer to me. So you can see like close by. And these two guys. Oh my lord. Blew off all my tires. <laughs> yeah, not a ideal position. What I am gonna do is just like throw a nail. Can you fucking stop? What yeah. is you doing? I wanted to throw an aid and fuck them over. <laughs> <laughs>
Excuse me, I save. But yeah, good thing. To be fair, I save here every time. But I kind of fucked up the late game anyway. I'm not supposed to be doing this like this, but it is sort of. So, ooh, I'm gonna close the mission. Okay. Package. Right, yeah. There's a, there's a very epic glitch that can happen uh, in this mission where if you destroy one of the boxes which is supposed to have the guns on the back, uh, the gun that you have to pick up will be teleported to coordinates 000. zero, zero. And uh, that is underneath the golf course, out of bounds. So, <laughs> basically, you you are forced to clip out of bounds somehow and fall through the map and grab the uh, grab the gun somehow, which is like almost impossible. And, yeah, it's pretty much run over. Basically, GG at that point. Yeah. So uh, that's very cool. Surely yeah. DE fixes it. <laughs> Clueless. Yeah. Right again, but. Oh my god. So, what I have to do here is because I'm holding this call. There it is. Uh, it's because I'm holding the call. I have to play replays to pick this up. But I can't. Overwrite my my gun. But it's the same button as he's holding the call. Yeah. Yeah, it's tab for both. I'm gonna do rifle range now. PTSD. <laughs> uh, so after this guy says his thing, I'm gonna let go of the call. It's the anti play call. Short call, and after it's done, I have my Uzi to do this with. Huge. Basically, I can just lower these targets, and I keep playing replays to reload my gun. What I need is a 45 points. Also, this call comes in as well. I have to hold it later. Uh, part. He doesn't shoot the one point target, Lashenka, because it just gets in the way of destroying the two and the three. Yeah, you're trying to shoot the, the third one yeah. as fast as possible so it can uh, respawn quicker. Yeah. I shot it at if the end. If you destroy the first one, it just gets in the way. But I just shot it at the end because I needed one point to pass. So that's when it's actually useful to shoot it. And now I'm going to ditch this Foggio, like this way. Nice. Really nice. And just start publicity tour. Let go of the call. I'm not gonna be answering it now, but a weird side effect is that uh, it gives me <laughs> shoutouts to shoutouts to Argentina, Argentina who are winning the World Cup, guys. Let's get it. <laughs> Messi. And the bloke in the shirt looks like uh, fucking <laughs> looks like uh, a Dave. ghoul. Dave. <laughs> Looks like me. <laughs> Doesn't look like me. Give you an idea. I have short hair. Anyways, gotta go. Gotta go. Uh, it's actually a really good Fajo placement because that's exactly where the mission ends. So, at least I got lucky with that. There you go. Poles are falling off. There's a side effect of the bombs away, dude. You're doing the boring route. Oh, I have too much pain. <laughs> Sorry. Somebody do something! I clever! 
Somebody do something for Kurt Krabby's act. I've seen braver quines. Fuck it, tough guy. You do, do something. Move me. I play a musical instrument. I don't have a clue about what I'm just... That was a solid impression. <laughs> What'd you say? I don't know what it is. Okay. <laughs> Luffy's tour bus. It's the it's the honey. The green one. This is not green one. Oh, oh, is this the green one? Fuck, I don't know oh what they're saying. I should have done too low when I had the chance, man. Capo waste. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck me, man. <laughs> you know, the worst part of the run is coming up. And my brain is fried as fuck. <laughs> Woo! A little adrenaline rush. Hey, how you. how bad this run is? <laughs> yeah, it's the route, bro. Trust me. And now, I answer the call. Lipstick lights. Can you move your gutting? No, not here. I mean, being that guy at a concert who's just on his <laughs> phone the whole time. <laughs> They're just what waiting for him to stop talking. <laughs> nah, you can't move. It would have been fun. Yeah. And we are the priests. What accent is this? Scottish? Yes. Okay. What about a Birmingham <laughs> accent? <laughs> do you know how to do a Brummie accent? I, I haven't watched enough Peaky Blinders. <laughs> Worst accent in the UK. Not even close. <laughs> okay. So, what that phone call did was uh, it unlocks the uh those mission final biker mission no the final no wait it's the other way around the biker mission <laughs> <laughs> it's the other way around if you <laughs> yeah, yeah. So that, that was the film mission that i unlocked i'm gonna drive there and that is actually on me because there's a car there every time <laughs> i should have expected it Yep. Moonshine Saigon. The way I do this mission is I get rid of this door. Over there. Every time. So that... Bill... Gets out. Shooker. And... I pause and unpause to get rid of the drunk filter. Not the filter, mm. but like the effect. Effect. It's not yeah. only visual; it also affects your driving. It's like much delayed. But if you pause on pause, it gets completely wiped. But then it like resets, and you have to pause. pause yeah, again. every couple of seconds, or after a few dialogue lines, it resets. So you need to do it like three times during the mission. It's like input delay, additional input delay. Oh so yeah, you can see after you stop talking, like. The cam the screen kind the of camera. flickers. Oh my god. Oh that was close. Dude, what the fuck? I've been busted <laughs> there before. Really? Oh my god. Yeah. Can you exactly bust the same way like that, like can last you, second. Yeah, can you bust me through that door? Yeah, probably. I would get cancer. <laughs> Anyways, uh finish up Boomshine. A fun uh, random stupid fact about that mission. Is um so Phil appears in GTA 3, and the events of GTA 3 take part after Vice City. Um, but in GTA 3, his other arm is blown off. So in Vice City, he blows off one arm, and then in GTA 3, he appears with his other arm blown off. What to Vice the City. fuck? They, uh, they messed it up. I'm <laughs> driving a voodoo. Why are they shooting? <laughs> You're not in. What's no, their game, game called? I forgot. Asian? No, the other game. Cubans? Puerto Rican, or what's it called? <laughs> Puerto Rican, yeah, Dominicans. Presumably not in their clothes. 
going hard. Okay. Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> oh man, you drive like a crazy bitch. Hola, amigo. I took the on oh, optimal route. But... Whatever. It's the best I can do with this pop tire, right? <laughs> You would have been listening to Vero. Trying to get past. But I'm also trying to not scare that Haitian away, because if I do, then he's gonna take a long time to open the door. Yeah, if you scare him, he'll dive out the way, and then all the time that he spent diving, he can't uh, open the gate for you. Yeah. Basically, I parked in the worst possible way. Yeah, good parking. And I use the scope to full stop after running, which saves like a second. Yeah, you can trigger markers immediately with that. It's used in quite a few different places. Yeah. And now, we begin taxi. Oh boy. Ah oh shit, here we go again. Am I right? <laughs> <laughs> so you need to do 100 taxi fares. But because we're lazy, we're going to do something much faster, which is duping the off-road mission trial by dirt like in total 100 times and then transforming those trial by dirt instances in, into taxi fares 112 times yeah and I vigilante do as well too huh? i do 113 for uh okay <laughs> i don't know it's a placebo but it's all right so make sure you don't get the meme with vigilante where it yeah, just passes well, 11. Yeah, it does, just doesn't pass. And uh, the way yeah. it works is, uh, for one, if you remember, he set up the taxi destination where you had to read like the ch uh, Japanese letters or recognize them. So he knows that his destination is the ammunition. That's like step one. You Step one, you And and that is how you dupe. <laughs> Hope you all understood. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Any any questions? <laughs> yeah, feel free to ask. <laughs> all things considered, I think I'm on pace for sub five guys. <laughs> five yeah. fifteen. I haven't paused my timer at all, so I don't know what the four fifteen on my timer. Four fifteen, god damn. Yeah. I, I paused for like the entire package hunt. And, yeah. yeah. Actual 15 minute pause. It's 4.30 on mine. Yeah. Well, I am on 4.15 pace, so. It'd be pretty much like a bang on estimate, I think, though, right? <laughs> no, I don't think this is going to take me 15 minutes. So how much does the... Hey, last how much does the save advanced time? Six hours? Six hours. Yeah, I mean, it's at least. I'm gonna wait. Uh, how much do I wait? Start out 4.30. Did I wait? 6 hours 30 is pretty safe, right? I have no idea about these timings anymore. 
Well, five hours is the absolute lowest you can go. Yeah, five thirty, five is like pretty. Five thirty, yeah, very pretty clutch. Yeah. So yeah, six thirty is pretty safe, I say. So basically, I'll have to wait until sixteen, seventeen, flat. And actually, I don't use this rampage. Hold up. Uh, that save at the boatyard is actually one of like the smartest strats in the entire run, by the way. Yeah. Seems really silly, um, mm -hmm. but basically Whoa. the way it works is nice uh, collision on that building. <laughs> I never knew that. I, me, me too, man. I never yeah, landed here in the hurricane. Okay. Interesting. Um, but yeah, so the reason you make that save is because right now you're in a waiting period, but nothing you do in-game really matters, right? Because you're going to load the save, for a strategy that we're going to do in a bit after waiting a couple of minutes. Um, I'll let Rock explain that in a little bit. Uh, he can repeat his full explanation. If you can somehow um, stream my paint, I could visualize it with help. Yeah. <laughs> I no, can okay, yeah. um, no, I'll try. So yeah, it, I, was, I was just going to say, just to finish, <clears> but the only thing that does carry over that you can actually make progress in is making saves. So later on, he's going to do um, the boatyard asset by insta-passing it. Um, so while you're in the waiting period, if you go and if you go and buy boatyard and then make a save at mm -hmm. the boatyard, um, then the fact that you've bought the boatyard doesn't carry over, but the fact that you have a save inside of the boatyard does. So later on, we're going to be all the way at the northern side of the map after completing taxi, and then we're going to save at the Hyman condo, which is at the other side of the map to the to the boatyard, and then he's going to load that save that you made during the waiting period, make a replay over the boatyard icon. And then reload back into the save that he made during the run uh, at the Hyman condo, and then he can use that to buy warp all the way down back to the boatyard. It's 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 genius. I, I'm not doing a very good job at explaining it, but it's like you, yeah, you'll it's see, finding you'll like see. the only way to save time during the the waiting period. So the waiting periods. All right, Marushko saved his game. Uh, so yeah, okay. Um, how do I start it? Let's start That's with it. this, okay. Uh, you see the in-game timer on the right? It's like just a visual, but like, just let's go with it. Like, it's 15.00 right now. If you pick up any rampage, it notices the time, like 15.00, you pick it up, and then it gives you two minutes to finish that rampage. So it notes you start at 15.00, so and the rampage at 17 or once the clock reaches like 17 or later the rampage fails on you because it took too long and um, one other thing that you can save in replays is also that like internal time you can save in replays so okay let's <laughs> he, he saves the game for example at two o'clock and now he's waiting six minutes, which is like six in-game hours. And then he's gonna record a replay. And in that replay, the like stored time value will be like six o'clock. Then he will have a safe safe replay with that time and also on top of a rampage. And then he's gonna load back that save from twelve o'clock. So he'll be like kinda in the past again, or compared to his replay. His replay will be in the future. So, and then when he loads the save, if he picks up that rampage, he will start it, and then the rampage will take note of the time. Okay, it's like 12.02, for example, and the rampage at 14.02 or later. And then when he plays the replay once, he starts the rampage, but then he can also play the replay a second time. And then when he plays it the second time, the game sees like, oh, okay, like uh, 16 or like 6 o'clock is much later than 14.02 and the rampage right now. So we can manipulate when he wants to end it as well. And he will try to do that while getting on the dirt bike, which also triggers the off-road mission. And then he will do a like deliberate set of inputs to do that like 50 times over and over again. <laughs> and then after yeah, he... The... You, you'll see, like, and then, yeah, if you do it successfully without messing up, you have duped the off-road mission 50 times, and then you just need to get into a taxi, activate taxi, the side mission, 
and then all those 50 dupes get transformed into taxi fares. And then you just need to go to your previously set up destination, animation, and get like the reward for 50 individual fares. Right, yeah, that, that's what the inputs look like. He's like, it's it's pretty small window. Like it's it's not like one frame kind of thing, but pretty precise. Yeah, it's a very tight window. So the, so the see... inputs are play, playing the replay, then cancelling it with F1, and then playing the replay again before Trial by Dirt can start to restart the rampage in the very small time. Uh, before the mission restarts by itself. Because as soon as it starts the mission, if you're not on the ah, rampage, then obviously okay. you can't you can't start the rampage while you're on the mission. So yeah, you basically have to do like a really tricky set of inputs, like 12 times in a row, then 50 times in a row, and then 50 times in a row again. Like, At least you can you save. You can't stress how difficult this is. Yeah. Even with like hundreds of hours of practice, this is still stupidly difficult. Like, as I said, it's not like one frame perfect, but it's like three, uh, five or like six frame window at most that you have yeah. here. It's extremely difficult. And it also doesn't help that um, when you do this with Vigilante, where you basically do it 12 or 13 times and then start Vigilante for the same thing to, to you know, hey. mass do Vigilante and pass it. Um, you can just crash the game, because starting Vigilante that many times is extremely unstable. And it's completely random whether you get it or not. Yeah. I actually uh, got you'll it know the if first he gets time. it because when you, yeah, when you pass Vigilante, you actually get given armor. So if he has armor, that means he's passed all levels of Vigilante. It's an easy way to tell. What if you have full armor? How do you tell? Uh, I mean, <laughs> I'm just wondering, like, how would you? I I, I think it gives you a hundred. So even if you have full oh. armor, oh. yeah, I don't know. You're screwed, I guess. What team? Yeah. Oh my god. Fuck. Are you paying for? I should have just gone with 45 or something. I kind of felt how I was gonna feel. <laughs> yeah, you can do like um, 25, like 4 sets of 25, or you can do 10 sets of 10, or 2 sets of 50. It depends how. Um, like confident yeah. you are, yeah. Uh, but obviously, the the more you do at once, the faster it is because the less time you have to go back and save your progress and continue on. And you can't do all one hundred at once because after like sixty seven, it crashes or something. Yeah, too many. The more sets you do, the more time you have to waste waiting your replay. Yeah, yeah. Also, Even though I yeah. failed like fifty times by now, I still am saving time. If I had decided to do three sets, for example. I would have to yeah. wait extra time to play. And also, because he's loading the, the save, it's basically like undoing the, the time that he spent. So he's not running out of time 
on the replay by learning the save. He's like just going back to square one basically. I am fucking playing with my luck here. Uh, that's enough. Do the rest later. Yeah, so if you do like 49 here, it's not run killing or anything. You can just do 51 the next time. As long as you break it up into two chunks, it's fine. I don't even know if I did 49. <laughs> I did like 44. <laughs> but even still, yeah, yeah, as long as, as long you're make up for it on the second one. I'm 65, so that's fine. The next one. 46, yeah. 46, yeah. So now I have to do 54. Like, I have to do it 54. I can't do less. I can do more, but not less. Yeah. But I just did it because I can save now. I can save my problem. Yeah, it kind of gives him a checkpoint. Alright. As long as you do the first one, like the anxiety of getting a vigilante mm. crash is over, so yeah. the rest it should be like three or four anyways, but still it's really annoying and hard. My god, I... 45 again. Like twice that I've done 45 now. Oh, fuck. Get out. Have to change the third order now because I saved. I loaded. Have to... We, we won't get into that, just don't worry about it. As a post effect of uh, the vigilante, our uh, thing is that there aren't any cars in the room now. Good driving, good driving, good driving. <laughs> I think I have like 10 minutes of it. No! 
две, три, четири, пет. Um, this is exactly how I left off last summer. <laughs> I think I felt like three very good runs on this back to back. Definitely my least favorite part of the run. I never had problems with it back in the day. And we're done. GG. Yeah, you can technically do this at any point in the run, it's just yeah. more optimal to do it at the end. From the routing is perspective. Yeah, there is a route that I think Leon did when Leon used to do runs where you would like go and do this right at the start because it's awful, so you just yeah. get it out of the way. Yeah. But the, the issue is is that there's so many markers as a result of it. Um, that you actually like don't get markers for some of the later missions, and some of the missions that require like you know random spawns are quite tricky when you don't know where they are. You have to basically guess. It can be quite a pain in the ass because you basically have no mini map for the whole run, which sucks. Yeah. And on top of that, if we're talking about optimal, are you kidding me? This pull is blocking my. Uh, it's also very slow. Yeah. It's slower because of the zebra cab. It's faster. And also, can you even set up a downtown fair if you haven't unlocked it yet? I think. You Does can. the game check for that? Surely you can, right? Yeah, you so, can. I mean, really? if you couldn't, the strat wouldn't work. Because how would you get back? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, last chapter of the run. I'm gonna load back that save that I did at the boatyard. I'm gonna save a long replay of the a replay where I stand on top of the buy icon and on top of the save icon. I'm gonna load back my save. And keep it for now. But I still have a couple of things left to do. So, 
Yeah, you can see I have uh, the jump, which means I've completed Sax here. Here, I want to start trial by the but this time I actually complete it. I haven't done this in so long, actually. Hey, same, <laughs> we should race. <laughs> Next year, me and Rock are gonna race. He is gonna play with his Boomer's 2016 route. I'm gonna play with <laughs> my 50,000 route that I've created the day before. And still be faster than you. Uh huh. You fucking bitch. Maybe in 2016 you would. Started out so well, bro. <laughs> this run was actually like super fun. At the start, I was having a blast. I made so many preventative saves as well. Like I never save during runs. Guess that's what it bites me. Now it rains, so I have to do a land stalker rain. Isn't that a jolly experience? Really <laughs> <laughs> jolly. Last checkpoint. Basically, you do two laps with uh, both vehicles. I think the taxi should stay. If it doesn't, it didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea. Like it I didn't never... stay. <laughs> Feels good. Nah, I never get this point. I should have answered it. It's okay, I'll find a taxi, surely. If you don't re enter it, it should despawn, because you'll just have the uh, Landstalker and the Sanchez, which are two yeah. vehicles. I remember why I thought it shouldn't despawn. It's because uh, back in the day you wouldn't do the replay first. So the Sanchez that you do TBD with would still be in like your memory and shit and you like kind of like do you would do TBD with the same Sanchez that you do duping with and since it's like first on the list and then second is the taxi when you enter the Landstalker it despawns the third bike but not the taxi you know because mm. it's yeah, further back this is not fun. Motor in. When I used to play Hundo, this was like the best part of the run for me. You've just done TBD, there's nothing else to fail. Just have to get past this stupid challenge. Yeah, then you'd flip and you'd just be so depressed. Yeah. Well, it usually does And all rain. that hard shit, and then you fucking flip on this stupid course. It usually doesn't rain. Usually. <laughs> I swear, I'm gonna like get sub 420 with this route. Mark my words. Mm -hmm. Put it on the list of promises. There's no, there's no room for it left. Ah oh, shit! <laughs> I have to clear out some promises. <laughs> it's okay, I'll I'll get on all missions then. Right, so my life sucks. I'm gonna look for a taxi. I don't think there are any cars on the road. <laughs> <laughs> Time for a cough, man. Yep. 
I'm unironically gonna have to go to Kaufman, bro. Are you for real? Just taking the heli. Think it's faster? And you passed it already. What is this shit? That's one of the vigilante targets, by the way. Yeah. That admiral over there. I was excited. Anyways, count your uh, minutes. Because I am about to finish my run. 30 minutes ahead of estimate. What's the last thing in your route package? Ah, it's the rampage. Oh, what the fuck did I just do? Okay, mistake. You're supposed yeah. to not move there. Cause now, if I were to play a replay, I would despawn the boats. I have to move away a little bit and then warp back. Bro, you and Roxet say the same thing, but when I used to do this, I would not <laughs> move at all, and then the boats would just despawn anyway. Like, <laughs> such bullshit. But what yes. is... What's the reason? Nobody I don't knows. Know. <laughs> I don't know. It just happens works. anyway. <laughs> Even only, man. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna pick up this package. That was the uh, boatyard in the past, by the way, using taxi. It's at the very end of the run because it kills taxi. I can no longer start taxi. I made that mistake once. <laughs> yeah. Everyone. I was like, oh, I have like 98 fares. I'll do the last two at the end. <laughs> Normally. Pretty much everyone's done that. Anyways, the last 18 packages, uh, <laughs> I'm not gonna collect because this is a one, safe. At least one more, one more package. <laughs> I'll try to find one more. <laughs> hey. Oh, I forgot to save a replay over there on peak. <laughs> Bro, no! <laughs> Take the boat, own style. This truly is the worst run of my career. Oh yeah, take Lance's Hunter. No, you don't have one other packages. You... Or wait. I don't. No, no, you, you don't have it yet. It's KYC and one other packages. Yeah, it spawns in the army base otherwise. You need both yeah. to have it spawn at once as well. <laughs> the sound of this fucking... <laughs> it's a fucking nuke here, man. <laughs> like it dropped a nuke. So slow. Like your run. It is. Oh, great. Why does everyone have to be packing sharp things? The knife no cinematic camera. Very important and spiritual. It's an ancient one person personal crisis. You say to yourself, I'm going to How have you... a spiritual experience. Is this the person? Yeah, yeah, just wait. Into my head. Looks Life like. actors never rehearse and need no script, Amy. That was said by somebody really scary. Oh! Like the wind which is <laughs> blowing. Or the sun which shines. Oh shit, you can actually and see the deep, you smell and you talk really weird and you're just really gross. Not until whoa, whoa, whoa. you go out there, become an internationalist, learn oral traditions, <laughs> learn to respect life, make war on machines, marry your mother, technology will enslave us. Buy my book. It's been I'm not even gonna trust the fucking thing. <laughs> Is it here? Where is it? Up there. Yeah, the top of the stairs. Up there. This fucking guy, man. Man, this run <laughs> fried my brain. Not unreal. Who let this guy on? Um, inshallah, bro. We are gonna boil this con con category. Inshallah. No, no, no. No, no way. No, no. You can just call it a day. <laughs> I believe 
We are done. <laughs> what part of top of the stairs do you not fucking understand? It is on top of the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? There's no RPG here? There it is. GG. Thank you oh, for you, watching. You professional, professional tools. I don't have professional tools. GG. You can uh, GG. GG. Call up the GTA 5 lad and tell him I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, this fucking piece of shit run. Alright, well, uh, stay tuned and we'll be back <laughs> with some more speedruns. Yeah. Yeah, speedruns, uh... I hope. <laughs> with with twisted tamer with GTA five direct mode. We will we'll see you soon. Bye. Bye bye.